to get in there by time. Uh, no time. There's no time. So Cody Perry and friends get the last bit of the kills and clutch out for round six. So now we are in round seven. So very important round for Cody Perry and friends to win. Otherwise their economy would have been shot for a while. So far, this is shaping up to be a, a great Valorant game. You know, I love Valorant games like these, man. I love it whenever it's nice and tied and there's not a huge, you know, upset. Because yeah, really, there's nothing more boring than watching a team getting stomped. And it's very exciting to have teams that are actually very close. Where the score lines are just neck and neck, pretty much. And they've been kind of going back and forth. So now we go to round seven. Dante is suspicious of Nest. Fires some bullets that way. Goes on the rope. Is on top pipes. Is looking around for any what picks he can find. He's in Nest. He gets the pick on Barry time. Actually, the shotgun gets Spike down a. Very nice. Oh, he, he gets he overzealous. Gets and the subbowl comes out. Doesn't really get anybody. It's a 4 degree Spike retake planted. again. For Cody Barry and friends, his spike goes down. I think he spotted Blitz there. Beefy gets three, gets Astral. Now 42. Icy gets 10 Tom. Wow, this is very dangerous for Beefy here. If he get if he the gets tagged even pit. once, he's dead. Viper's pit, the orbs. Oh, one enemy just as gets I said. Beefy. Scientrix gets the two Blitz and Icy, and it is a clutch by Cody Barry and friends. Wow. I was not expecting that, dude. Very well played by Beefy. To get three there helped pretty much secure that retake. So, Cody Berry friends lead at seven after seven rounds, and we are now round eight. And Converse is going to be on an eco. Yep. Let me look at the push uh, that Converse are looking to go for here. It seems like they're just going to go for an all right, all out uh, mid push. Dark goes through. They wall down the two. Ooh, Gonchus good gets shot. The headshot of Cyanthrix. Oh my goodness. Now this now. Oh, he gets traded yep. out by Tentum. Yep. Three, four. Plant's going to be going down. Buzz gets to pick up very time, but gets traded out by Beefy, and it's a 2v3, or 2v4, sorry. Blitz peeks out, trying to get a pick with his sheriff, can't and find anyone. Going down, oh, he gets, oh, gets two. two! And Science trades for Blitz, and it is now a 2v1. The, the bomb one. is half, though. He has to peek it, or else they're going to defuse. There's no time there. A good attempt by Converse. A good eco. Yeah, that was a very, very good attempt by Converse there. But Cody and Barry friends take the round. It is now 5-3 after 8. So we're now into round 9. So we see Barry Time and Beefy leading their team. 10 and 6. Both of them actually. And then Gonchas is leading his team with 11 and 8. With Blitz followed behind at 7 and 6. Mm -hmm. now let's take a look at their ult economy right now. Uh, Cody Bear and friends only have one ult right now, and they just popped it. Jet knives. Converse one's still sitting on three. So they have a really good chance of securing this round. Those ults are pretty precious and there. are very useful to securing rounds, especially the sub ult and KJ ult. You should run. And it looks like the KJ ult's gonna go down. That's gonna be pushing KJ out. Of sight, however, very time still there, and he actually gets away because of the, that viper ward. That player does pain. If he gets a pick on Blitz. Both teams are actually Looking stalled mid. at both choke points right now. Okay, Converse one goes for the plant now. Plant goes down. Icy gets a pick on Cyantrix, but Beefy trades, gets Buzz. Icy gets Beefy. Here. Last player standing. Astral. Astral gets two. 
And this is over. Mm, and Astral, Astral gets the third. And that is the round back for Converse. That was a that was a very very nice shots coming from Astro there. Good shots all around. It's currently so five four. Uh, one point in the favor of Cody Berry and friends. I wonder if they'll be able to close it out eight four. Well, this map is actually very defender sided, just based off of not only how the map is organized, but also the agent compositions from both teams. So. Right, because there's a lot of verticality here, and so it's very dangerous for attackers to peek into angles because they have to check up, middle, and then up, down. There's just so much verticality. Look at this mid push here by Cody Berry and friends. They already have they have four lurking. That is a very interesting strat. I have never seen that before. And the Cyantrix is just going one alone on site. Plank goes down onto A, but there's there's a four man flank, and there's one on site. Converse one. I don't know if they're ready for this. Actually, there's a pick, gets two, gets traded out by yeah. Tentom. I see gets Last three. Okay. If he gets two as well, that will be two. He dashes out to avoid getting traded by uh, Sage. Uh, but Buzz so gets him. Get the kill. So. Buzz is going to get the kill on Beefy and is tied again after 10. To be fair, that that uh, four-man flank was working for them at, at one point. It's just that, unfortunately, for Cody Berry and Friends, Converse 1 uh, had realized that, you know, nobody's on site and nobody's coming to retake. They must be flank. Yeah. But it's really well played. Beefy getting also good picks as well. Hurting that economy for Converse as well. So we go into round 11. Sova ult and Sejal are up and online for Converse 1. Cody Beer and friends have KJ ult. It's uh, rounds like these where it's it's really important to use your ultimates because they'll be nearing the end of the half. And by that point, any ults you haven't used up, they'll just be null. So it looks like it's going to be a B push. They're pushing up. Gonch fires some shots. Oh, he gets he gets get killed by Beefy, but you gets traded out by Astral. That's with the res on Gonch. How unlucky for Beefy. His kill meant nothing. Every time is looking up towards mid. Astral gets pinged. They know he's yellow. The rest of the team is behind him. Converse can still back out of this if they feel the need be. But it looks like they're just going to stay left. here. Nobody's moved an inch. Oh, now they're pushing up. Barry gets the pick here. on the spray down through the smoke. Boys, but the plant's still going to go down. Icy gets the pick on Chucky Kippo. Tentum gets... No, yeah, Tentum gets the pick on Blitz while being sprayed down by Barry time. Whoa. Old goes down. So old goes down to kill the KJ ults. It's destroyed. There's two v two. One is picked out. I'm not sure where KJ now, is. Astral gets killed by Cyantrix. Oh. And Icy gets the pick on Cyantrix and Converse makes it six after eleven. And last now we are at round 12. This is the last Can't round of the half. So six. after the half, Go they will bro. then switch sides. So then Converse will be the one uh, defending, and Cody Berry and friends will be attacking. Hmm. It seems here that Converse 1 are looking to just do a full push on A. Meanwhile, Cody Berry and friends are looking to do a 2-1-2 a two, two, one, two split. No, it seems like it's a 3-1-1 one, one split. Solo comes out for 10 pump. Gets the pick on Icy really quickly. With the Sova ult, too. However, they're still pushing up Converse. Gonchis gets drone. the pick on Huffing Hippo. 10 pump sends out a drone. Tags one. See, he sees all the best. Four players, so they know that all players are there. Tentum uses the 
the screens to spray through. Uh, not attacking anyone though. Wall goes down. Wow. Plant crash goes down. But Cyan just gets wow. the blitz. How unlucky. And Beefy has a good play here. Nice, nice. He gets one, he gets two. Spike it's down now 1v4 a. for Gaunches here. He's looking for the third. And he he gets it stolen Cody. by Barry time. But very, very nicely played by Cody, Barry, and friends. And we're tied at the half. Switching sides. So. This is great. We start the round, do you th who do you think won that half? I, I think both teams played it out very well. Both played out their hearts. Um, I'm hoping for the same thing here. And who knows, maybe we'll get an overtime here. First round. I totally agree. Both teams played really well on their side. Some of these players shining pretty well. Beefy with 17 and 9, leading the kills. And then with Gonches in second with 14, mm. leading for his team. Converse one has a very interesting buy here. Two ghosts, two classics, and a frenzy here. You usually don't see this much of a, a mix in terms of uh, first round gun variety. Looks to be a quick push by Cody Berry and friends. Oh, he gets Disney good by Dodge, Barry. holding the off angle. He tries to dismiss out, but getting body blocked by Astral a little. <laughs> He's looking to fight Maze. Astral's Berry time is there, ready with the frenzy. Oh. Kills him. He kills two with the frenzy at that range? They were both equally weak, though. So, plant's gonna go down. Spike I see he's in good position here. I see gets the pick onto Sova. And it's now a 3v2 retake. There's it's no looking good for Converse. The side of Cody friends. There's no there's no util to One really stop remaining. the plant aside from the gun. And Blitz gets the trade for Buzz. Yep, and it um, is the pistol round won by Converse. And unfortunately unfortunately for Cody, Barry, and friends, the man advantage was just too much for them to take on. Yes. However, they, they did do it pretty well. They did. The pistol, by getting those two picks, it helped them secure plant and get some money. And they were pretty close to clutching, so. KJ well set up kitchen. So it looks kind of like a kind of half buy by Cody Bear and friends. It's not unprecedented. Teams have done this before to try and throw off their opponents. Buzz wall through. Straight on the stage wall. Oh, Buzz is in trouble. He tries to get out but gets killed. Stinger, Barry Stinger time gets, gets two with the Stinger. Them. Stinger buffs are crazy. So it's a 3v5 right now for Converse. Uh, they walled off any long angles with the Viper wall. The plant's gonna be going down. Five retake. Ooh, Gaunch, Gaunch gets, gets a the kill. Spam through the wall. There's one yellow. Gaunch is looking for more fights. He sees one in main. He knows someone's here. He goes for the kill. Uh, Blitz actually steals it from him. It's good to do damage, however, that. Those Reyna actually need the kill. Oh. That just gets the flank on the Astral through mid. And it's now a 1v2. It's all up to Cyantrix. <laughs> oh, and Gaunt just gets the kill onto Cyantrix to clutch the round, which was pretty scary, honestly. After those first two picks with the Stinger. Yep. Again, very time getting those very nice picks for his team. But team just kind of falling short in the long run. Both teams are short of money now. It looks like Cody Berry and friends are looking for a more save heavy round. Converse one are just Forcing. spending away. The fourth thing gets rid of their money, which might help them out in the end here since Cody Berry and friends are doing a safe eco. And we go into round 15. Gons tries to shoot the silver dart. Oh. He gets uh, two tags on both Beefy and Tenten. My ult ready. So 
already a 5v4 and your duel is gone. Cody Berry friends are, are kind of stumped right now. They want to push a site, but with the Guardian in the hands of Gaunch, it's hard to contest uh, long sight lines. Again, another very good um, like uh, thinking for these teams is to deal with those long angles. Yeah, it seems yeah. like Cody Berry and friends have finally decided that they're going to be pushing mid here. Actually, no, they're holding mid. Ooh. Spike Ooh. down. Nice Blitz shot by Blitz. Nice shot onto the Sage. But also gets dinked themselves, but gets <sighs> healed. But the things go out. And again, sort of Cody Berry and friends are still stumped on where they can go. They tried A, they got shot. And had one killed. They try and go mid. Left. One got killed. Oh, Buzz and takes the shot but misses. Goes back site. Element takes the shot, hits shot it hit. this time. Oh, he, he, he whiffs. He whiffs a little. Low. He's fine. He's fine. But he gets help from Astral Weapon to secure the round, and it's a flawless round Can't by Converse. I believe. Is this our first flawless round? I, I believe so. So, really well played by Converse. Again, they had the better guns, so helps them out in the long run, especially against the safety go. But now Cody Bear and friends can somewhat buy up. Actually, they can fully buy up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about something more important here. The score is 6-9. Good job. Wonderful. So, Converse are leading 9-6. Buzz walls off mid tube. Uh, Cody Bear and friends just decide to push Eddie. up all of them. Main. Oh, Ooh, Beefy gets shot. a nice shot onto Astral. Beefy is on top of Yellow, contesting the space for his team. He gets oh, called out by Gaunch. Now it's only four again. Plant's going there. down. Spike planted. The plant is secured. He's contesting really long sidelines here. Strength for the Guardian. He knows that people like to test yellow. Oh wow, Barry Time is a very dangerous position here. It pays but off. But couldn't get the other. Buzz gets the kill with a stinger. Yeah, he gets a lot out. of stinger kills. Enemy remaining. Buzz gets another one. Gotcha gets a pick. It's now a 1v3. And again, the stinger! Nah, nah. Okay. Yeah, nah. The stinger? Thank you. The stinger's too strong. It but I will say, previously, it wasn't that strong. But with some buffs that, and changes, it's made it pretty strong as an eco gun. But Converse get the win on a sort of lower eco buy than Cody Bearing Friends. And now, Cody Bearing Friends kind of have some that are buying light shields, some vandals, some stingers. But we've seen what a stinger can do. Honestly, it could kill everything yep. at this point. So and six, I'm gonna keep it ten. a buck fifty with you. Uh, the stinger is probably my favorite economy gun. I just I love the ability to run and gun with it. I also love the fact that I can contest vandals. So it looks like it's gonna be a quick push by Cody Berry and friends onto the B site. Yeah. There's not gonna really be anything contesting. Oh, but I see gets Ooh. the pick on BP. You with will a nice not angle there, allies. but the rest comes yeah. to. Res Beefy. Converse 1 are still wary of the, the fake, so they leave two cool, but near mid. The was left in the open, but it's able to get away. The wall's kind of broken up. Molly's are going down. Humming Hippo taking pop shots at Gaunch. So, but Beefy gets to take on the Gaunches, and it's now 5v4. But Plants nice. hasn't just gone down yet. Beefy gets another, right gets icy. It has come to Converse's attention that there will be no faking here. So, uh, everybody on deck. Pushing up. Gonna get it. Plant goes Welcome down. Viper will come down for Teddy Bear. Oh. Ten times the gets The run and gun, man. Oh. Run and gun on Astral. And Converse now in a 2v4 situation with the, the Viper, Viper pit, pit is down. down. Oh, that's gonna be Buzz really difficult. Buzz gets picked on Sage. Buzz is gonna res Gaunches. It's not three v three. Are they, are it's they gonna try for it? Seems to me like they're gonna try for the the impossible here. 
pushing deep into the Viper's pit. Gets killed by Cyantrix. Barry Tine gets the second and the third. And that is the round win for Cody Berry, friends. Make it 7-10 after 17 rounds. I know I've said this before, but this is really a, a great game of Valorant. It's very competitive so far. Gonchis leading with 22 kills for on the side of Converse. And for Beefy, 20 kills with right behind him, Barry Tine and 19. Yeah, both duelists are holding up their ends all right. So now we kind of, we have an operator bot for Buzz on the side of Get Converse. Out of my way. And it looks like it's gonna be another B push again. Beefy pops the jet knives, <gasps> takes some shots, gets reconned out. Gotcha's peeking now. There's, peaking a now. Pivot. there's a pivot. Look, they're going towards A now. Oh, but yeah. That's where the operator is. But now it's not looking at the angle anymore. Sage hears the footsteps. It looks like they're going to play for a retake here, letting them have sight. And it looks like it's going to be someone. a full retake by Converse. Shock Darts come down. You should Defender run. Killjoy comes out for Converse. That's going to be a problem. Oh, but the, the anti-Killjoy Killjoy <laughs> Beefy gets two there, jumping around trying to get the third, oh, gets out he gets by his Buzz. head shaved off. Ball comes down, balls up. Buzz is going for the Molly doesn't hit. They attack. They they like to just down. Oh man, it's like watching a horde of zombies. Oh, it's too much, it's too much. Cody Berry friends get the round over Converse. A lot of ults use that round. But Cody Berry friends come out on top, make it 8-10. Yeah, but now Converse are in the in the lead in terms of ult economy with both Sova ult and Viper pit up. It seems like Converse one are going for a 2-1-2 a split on their defense. And Cody Barry and friends are just five manning B main. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. Duh. Oh, gets, oh. Gets two. And he's oh able my. to get away. My God. That's already bad for Cody Barry and friends because that's their smokes gone and their killjoy. So nothing really watching flank. No mollies for post you know, plant. I, I feel like Gonch heard me smack talking the Reyna. Like, oh, man. You can't, you can't really give Yuto to your team unless you get kills. And here he is, like, man, Spice watch planted. me. Oh, Plant's going to go down for Cutty Bear's Cutting friend. Icy gets DPS now. Remaining. It's just all she wrote. Yeah. 1v5 for Cutty Bear's friend. Oh, gets, gets the one, gets but cannot get the second. And it's going to go to Converse 1, 11 to 8. Yep. After 19 rounds. Only one more round for Converse, and it'll be match points. Because this is a BO1, so there will be only a map, one map play. Yep. Let's look at their buys here. Tentum cannot afford a Vandal. Has to buy a Bulldog, Bulldog. instead. But uh, for the most part, pretty much equal buys in terms of the weaponry. Yep. Just that bulldog and then Astro throws shield. a a recon dart on top, attacks nobody. Another B hit by Cody Berry and friends. They have the Silva ult, but Converse has a lot of ults as well on their side. You know, you'd think at this point, uh, somebody would go for the flank on Cody Berry and friends with how many times they've been five stacking B. Uh, but it seems like uh, the Viper just heard me, and she's watching the flank now. Also, mm -hmm. still lurking mid. Astro gets the pick onto Cyantrix. And oh. Gotchas gets the pick on Beefy. But gets, gets the, Tenton gets the trade onto Blitz. And it's a 4v3. The spike in still isn't planted players. here. 48 seconds on the clock. But look at this, this flank that's coming through. By Converse. 
Anch is just holding. He knows they have to get the plant down. They're pushing up. 30 seconds left. One Ooh, enemy. Well, Astro gets two. And Gotch oh, wow. gets it. And it is now match point for Converse 1 against Cody Barry's friends. 12 match 8. Point. That went by so fast. I mean, one second the uh, Cody Barry and friends were there, the, the other second they're not. Looks like Cody Berry Friends is going to be on a very weird buy where BP is going to be able to buy a Vandal full shields. Some Bulldogs are being bought. I'm not going to lie, this isn't looking very good for Cody Berry and Friends with their limited arsenal. And it seems like they're pushing mid. Only has a classic here. Ice gets the Viper Pit down, gets tagged by the Silver Dart, has to back up. Very quick push in to push it by Cody Berry and Friends. She lets the Viper Pit drop uh, in favor of helping her team. Throws a Viper Molly. Now, Blitz gets the kill onto Beefy. So man oh, advantage here for Converse. 4v5 for Cody, Barry, and friends. Oh, they bring it back to a 4v4. 3v4. Buzz gets the pick on Barry time. Gonchus gets 10 Tom. 4v2. Gonchus gets Cyantrix. Obehiba gets Buzz. He gets the Buzz off. 2v3. Oh, he gets, gets caught out. Keep loading. And Icy gets the final Defenders two picks for Barry time. And it is 13 8 for Converse 1 against Cody Barry and friends. Well played by both teams. That and was, that was a great congratulations match. Congratulations to Converse 1 for winning match 1. So there's the scoreboard. Gotcha is leading team 28 and 16 with BB Veritine falling with 22 and 20. Very impressive on both ends of the duelists. Both, as we said, these teams need to support their duelists to get the kills and look at the assists on the side of both teams. Both helping out their duelists while and getting those picks and pretty much ensuring that those rounds are secured. So. Any final thoughts about that uh, match? No, I mean, I just, I really enjoyed that. I I did think that some of the plays were a bit questionable. I remember one time we were watching Attack and they were just stalled out. Uh, there was quite a bit of stalled out by uh, Cody Berry friends where they couldn't exactly figure out what they wanted to do in terms of how they were going to push, especially after being down at man advantage. Yeah. But I would agree with that too. If they would have maybe tried to do a pivot or maybe have some lurks, that would probably help them out during that. Right. But that'll be it for this matchup, and we'll see you for the next match uh, soon. So okay. thank you for watching.
more well balanced all this um cumberland university composition is more of like kind of more on the aggressive side especially with two i get they got two info where you got sova and fade for info and then you got sky for flashes yep oh well, we're here loading in i'm not gonna lie i am i am favoring uh cumberland's defense here mostly because i just i don't know i guess i'm a i'm a sucker for out of place comps you know a three initiator not usually something you see yeah from what i heard right now cumberland is just more of a kind of an evaluation for these new players some of these are signees recruits coming in next in the fall good to see them here just to try out and see how they play well together if they're not we'll see but i heard nc state is a very strong team so that's a you got to be on the lookout for that. Yep, well, time will only tell. All right, now we're loading in. Let's go. Getting picks, getting ready for the setup. I am very curious as to how Cumberland will play out their defense with their rather odd <laughs> defensive structure. Mm, I think they're going to try to go for like as many um, defensive side because they do really got a strong aggro for attacking. So they're probably going to see how many rounds they could win on the defensive side and then carry on that momentum onto the attacking side. But we'll see how it goes right now. We're about to start off the first round of the game. It looks like Cumberland are opting for a four-man push out mid and NC State are going for a four-man A, one-man mid top. See, they're just pushing Cover in. We get smoked off. Smokes off into a tree and top of heaven. Like pushing to be main. They don't find anything. Nope. Sova coming onto the flank. Oh, four of them coming in the flank. Sova coming in from heaven. Bomb goes down. Nobody's been killed yet. Jet playing slowly around that smoke. Ko knows it behind. It's a lot of Ko. Ko with the one pick. Get trade. Fate with two. Good picks off from that jet from Cumberland University. Sevsby with a headshot. Nice. Oh, Ooh. Wow. Wow. Three for fate. They know that he's in hell. He has to reload his Steagle. Nice. Good round from Cumberland. Good um, retake, actually, even though they all pushed down mid right there. Oh. NC State, we're definitely not ready for that. Oh, no, not, not for real. They weren't. They were not ready for that at all. Just weren't expecting it. This really happens in the pistol rounds. You don't know what you're expecting. You can't really play everything from book. Sometimes you just got to play the unexpected, and it works out well. And it just turned out well for Cumberland right here. So right I now. Guess, I guess it is warranted for them, given their comp. But I just wasn't expecting it. Ooh, that Sova LMG combo right there. They're not They're not expecting it. I don't know. Sova's getting his lineup ready. As you say, are forcing up stingers here. Full rush A. For rush B, my bad. Blaze tap avoids the sonar there. So we're pushing back into boat. Pushing into lane now. Whoa, oh, wow. wow. Good down. picks right there. Out lane. Blaze tap push on to site. 2v4, not in the favor of NC State. Very aggressive. Shots coming out to slow down the push lane. One enemy remaining. You know, we just that nice. Good stuff from Cumberland University. Good execute right there to retake. Excel with the 3K. Good stuff. Only lost one right there, which was Sova, but to be honest, that's not going to be much of an issue for them as they get money from this third round. Let's see how Cumberland play out their bonus round against NC State's rifles. Or actually, no. They, 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 they won their bonus round. They won their second round. They're on to the third round. So we'll see how they do. So loud. And the spike still in base. Place that it may have finds one. It takes a shot. Wow, three get tagged. Uh two get tagged. Nobody's breaking the star though. Sub Rosa. Oh wow. This jet's going crazy right now. This is the first shot. Sova tagged. Last player flash. Ooh, good pick by that Sova. Revealing area. Sova's tech pretty much one shot. Enemy tag. Gets tagged by the drone. 
Oh, oh. fortunate. Good clutch right there by that jet right there. 1v1 situation. Zevzi went for the, the kill with the sheriff there, but the jet was just faster. Blaze tap. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think so far right now? Like, the way, I know it's still early game, but what do you think? It, it is still early game, day? but I feel like Cumberland are, are really putting the heat on for NC State here. I mean, they nearly won that. So what do you, what's your map prediction right now since we're still early in the game right now, Marco? Honestly, uh, I'm, I'm favoring Cumberland here, just based off what I see. Gotcha. Then again, things could change very much, but I don't know. I just, I guess I don't see it. This is very momentum-based game right here. Eight with the pick. Oh, Ooh, the shorty comes in ah. right there, taking out Jet. He does Ayo. get traded out by Haji. Haji gets traded out by Dark. Oh man, alone in sight. Skip blinder. Nice. Crazy retake right there. Nicely played by Cumberland. Playing well as a team, getting those combos together. Them flashes are coming in handy very well. I think I think the answer here for NC State would be to be more defaults. Uh, trying to get picks before picking a site and dumping all their uh, valuable resources onto it. Because mm -hmm, it just seems like they're all just four man pushing onto the site and one just holding the flank or mid. Which really they should just kind of just kind of play it slowly. Try to see what they can find, get some info. It looks like it's that, that is just what NC State is going to do way. this round. Good stuff, good stuff. It's like they were hearing us. Four man pushing out into mid from Cumberland. All the flash goes out tiles. Doesn't catch anyone. Play step is ready with the knives. Dodges the bird. Ooh, Bobby Schmurda with the kill. Fate. Double. 2K right Eight. there. Oh, he gets three. three. Insane opping. One enemy remaining. Oh, Spike Sebzy. down mid. Looking for the final man. Oh, Zelleron, final man standing. In tree room. Hopefully he can get some exit kills here. Well, thing is, they got classic Spike. in hand. He doesn't have much to work with. Spotted. Hey, is slowly creeping up. He's he holding just, him. He's scared for his dear life. He's just like right there. Shock darts come oh, out, yep. tagging him. Tag. <laughs> nice. He gets Good the 4K. 4K. Good stuff by Cumberland University right here. Playing this so well together with teamwork, using yeah, that right util. It. It's just, wow. Pretty good Valorant right there from Cumberland University. I couldn't agree more. Right now, let's look at the ult econ. We got Cumberland with the Sova and Jet ult online. NC State currently have Kale ult. Although I did say I, I didn't like the fact that there are four or five men pushing a site, I think this is the round to do it with the Kale ult. Yeah, Kale ult is so strong just to disable everybody else's abilities and equipment around. They use it up. They know they got info they're going to be at. That's the ult He gets Ooh, the three! Okay. That's insane. Jeff kills off the KO with the rest of his now bullets. Now NC State left with KJ back. So 1v4, can it be done? Looking for them. If there was a round to do it, it'd be with this one. Can't find him, no intel. Just waiting. Spike is also down lane, not very ideal. Creeping. Nice. Zevzi shuts it down with a 4K. Man, 4K is all around. My quiver is never full. Cumberland playing very well at the moment. NC State got to pick it up. What do you think NC State should do to like, just help them out, get them a couple more rounds on the board? I think they need to take advantage of Cumberland's four or five man pushing through mid. I think they need to start surrounding them with at least two tiles or three tiles and then two mid top or three mid top and just start contesting for that space. Mm -hmm. We'll see what they do right here. So they got three going towards A, two on B. Jet holding on A long. Smokes go out on both ends. Kao knife goes out, tags the fade. Yoshi finding the mid, gets tagged, gets spotted. Sova dart. Ooh. Both teams get Ooh, fight mid. Body charted with the double with the stinger. This could be it. This could be NC State going back with the second Cover round. Going out. It's a 2v3. Man advantage is in the favor of NC State. 
Sensi is creeping. Deploying Tiles drone. though. He's looking. So right I think he knows where that. Nice, good pick by the fate. Fate Red covers jet. him. One enemy so Rosa he gets two. Last one with Spike. Zezzy is very aware of the smoke, knowing that the NC State jet could be blaze tap, could be lurking up tiles, but no, it is it is actually tree where he is creeped up to. Blaze is just creeping up very slowly, trying to find him one more pick. Finds it, but oh, Zezzy just takes him out right there. Unfortunate right there, but I thought that was their round right there, man. I thought that was their round right there. Yeah. To be fair. It was a lot closer than the other rounds where they four or five man pushed a site. It just couldn't, they couldn't uh, trade out enough. That is true. That is true. They just did, they had the good plan right there, but just couldn't execute it well enough for them to make a good, take, pick up that second round. I would just see what goes on to round at number eight. Place tab buys the Odin to counter Zevsi. Dark gets tagged. Up. Gets tagged dark. again. That recon dart really needs to get shot. Oh wow, Zezzy with a pick. Dark flashes out. Try to find it. Right there. Gets Alder. Wow, even that, even those guys. Extremely lit right there. The prowlers go out and they they find that they're right where they thought they were. Gets mid top. Dark gets taken out by Bobby Shmurda. It's just funny saying Bobby Schmerda and Valorant. Who would thought I would be saying that? Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like NC State have calmed down a bit after fighting mid so savagely. They they've got their bearings together now and are look, looking for a slow push into B. Very slow push. Cumberland not even close, other than Silva being in market. Cumberland have no info to work off of. Right Omen smokes off B, so they do have an idea of what they could be doing. Because they're not getting info. There's, it's still very vague on what their plan is doing. But it's a flashes out. Push comes out at lane. Zepsi ready with the Odin. Nice. Gets Take shut down. Out. 3v3 now. You should run. Killjoy all going down. Spike has been planted. Kano Knife goes to market. Doesn't tag anyone. Cumberland just waiting. Retake to go out for the retake. Cumberland has been known to uh, be very successful in retakes, but usually they have a man advantage by now. Let's see how it goes when the numbers are even. We'll just see playing very slowly here. Spike going down. T time ticking. Only so much time. Oh, the operator gets nice. Zelron. Murder gets blinded. blind. Haji gets fake. One enemy remaining. Yoshi takes out Bobby Shmurda. They know they're in Bow House. Both blinded. Sees him. Oh, good. Yoshi saves him, but there's no time. Oh, unfortunate. Clutch. Mm. Round, round number eight goes to NC State University. Going into round nine. Let's see how the what the game plan is. Timeout starting for NC State. Rightfully so. Wow. Heck of a map so far. Cumberland uh, up 6-2. So far, Cumberland has been, well, really keeping in check with NC State, ensuring that everything they do gets shut down. And there have been a couple of rounds that has been close, but unfortunately for NC State, Cumberland has always come out on top. Yeah. I mean, Cumberland is doing so well when it comes, especially that four-man mid is working so well for yep. them. Like. Who would have thought, like, coming out from that? Like, it's just a good strategy. It's just something, like, you were not really expecting for them to come out. You think people are, like, like a normal set. Two, two, one. Two on one side, two on the other, and one mid. But they're all like, hey, let's all go for mid and just see what we can find. And look what they're finding. They're over here getting these retakes for coming from but right behind the enemy and just, like, taking them out one by one and just, you know, it's, yep, just, work, it's just working out very well for them. I have noticed that uh, on the side of Cumberland, there's been a lot of tags, a lot of info gathering. Thanks to their three initiator comp. <laughs> it, it, I mean, they're playing so well. Right now, we'll see where map round number nine takes us. Bought two up, ults. vandals. Two ults are online for NC State to use. Cumberland only has the Sova ult. 
looks like NC State are going for a four man A main. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, dude till dumped on them. Insane. To take out Dark though. Yep, the push did not work out for them, but XL is here. He's deep. He gets to peek oh, out. One. Gets one, gets traded. Good trade right there by NC State. Oh, Ooh, Fate. 3v3 now. Make good the stuff op. right there by Fate. Uh, people would like to call it the op crutch. <laughs> I mean, hey, man, if it works, it works. It works. Don't let nobody tell you different. <laughs> exactly. If you're getting kills, man, just keep on, it keep on it <laughs> trucking. Is Eleron cautious of the flank here? Potentially might be faking. Who knows? Shmurda starts creeping up Cat. Goes into a rat spot. Peeks around the corner, out. finds nobody. Carbolin are aware. They want to retake. They want to rehit A. Unfortunately for them, oh, no. no. The Fade. game Fade. is A right there. Sends Fade Eye out. Thirty seconds Fox left. Fade on comes out. Get out on this tag. It's good by Fate. Sova left alive. Sova takes also, it. does get the trade though. Operator's out of the hands. I have the spike. Standing ahead. Smart. Recon dog. He fakes it. 12 seconds, 10, 11 seconds on the clock. Oh, Gets tagged by the solo ult and oh, dies. Good solo ult right there. Good use right there to use that solo ult. Now going on to round number 10. Cumberland in the lead, 7-2. NC State is just struggling against this very aggressive Cumberland University composition. Like... The three initiators is just doing so well for Cumberland right now. Yeah, it's really paying off for them right now. Let's see what the what the defense strat is here for Cumberland. Crack them one down. three one split. Let's see, Jay holding on to A long. I'm trying to see if anybody pushes through. Fate holds the angle with the odd. Zelleron is hoping here. for somebody to push up so he can get him with the shorty, but Fate is staying steady. Mm. Oh, there. The guy sees one right there, trying to get the KO out. Haji takes shots with the yeah. Beagle. Pop flashes. Gotta get that. And they're really aggressive for this. Ooh, V nice lobby push. Pick right there by Sky. Oh, that one way. They're getting dangerously right close. Jet playing back slowly. He is very disciplined. I'm surprised he didn't push out. Nice, good pick by that jet right there. Two disciplined rewarded good. with two good. kills. Very aggro right now. Ooh, Ooh overheat, 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 overheat. Got to check that heat. Heat check. What is it? No one cares that now. You tilt dump, blinded. Wow. Good pick right there by that was a good round. Ending round number 10, going to Cumberland University. They pick up the operator again, handing it back to Jet. I mean, Jet's doing so well with that off mm -hmm. this whole this series right here. Who knows? I mean, maybe NC State could have a strong defensive sided map. What is the answer here? They just seem lost right there. Another three-man push mid. Hey, I mean, it's like working for them. You are okay. round in the half. Mm, sorry for no commentary because we are having some technical difficulties at the moment. Fortunately. 
and no game footage. One enemy remaining. Flawless. Switching sides. Spike down mid. Shot down. Ah, oh, perfect. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. We can see. Hey. Oh, look at that. NC State. Three rounds under the belt now. 8-5. Wow. That's very odd, isn't it? You know, the rounds we can't see. NC State just apparently won. The Yoshi. Cumberland going in for the eight push right here. Full man. Five man eight push. Let's see. Cumberland are doing a five man push into A. Flash goes out. KO knife also goes out. Sonar Dart goes out tagging the wow. two NC State members. NC State pushing back just to hold the main entrance. Cumberland are not pushing into A. They're smoked off. Very smart of them just to kind of play it slowly right here. Trying to figure out what the game plan should be. Sova holding off the flank. NC State not going for a push. It's just waiting for them to come up towards them. It'd be very dangerous to peek mid with the frenzies and short range weapons they have. Mm -hmm. They're just forced to stay here and hope that somebody makes a mistake. They get detected by the KO knife. Showing that they're still around the area. Zevsi peeks out mid with his knife out, hoping to get some info. They start pushing out mid. Pushing up through Cat. Slowly. Haji is ready for them. Spectre in hand. Sees them. Pushing he knows. back. Sprays. He knows. He gets pushed. Killed by Yoshi. Yoshi with his frenzy. You see one on sight. Picks up the Spectre. Yoshi oh. with the pick, unfortunate. Wow. They only took out two. Not too bad from Cumberland. We're going on a save round. NC State are making a comeback after their rough first half. Yeah, I think that aggressive um, defensive pushes that Cumberland was, was, was just going hard on NC State and they didn't know how to counter that because they're just getting overwhelmed by all the util dump that they were getting from Cumberland. Right. 
let's see what NC State have in store for Cumberland here. KJ set up on B. Very common. Just know those KJ setups hurt. They really do hurt. I played against some of those. And did they just tell you? I wasn't the happiest camper when I walked through them. <laughs> Maybe not even alive. Who knows? It's either I, got, I get out with one HP or I'm just dead right there on the spot. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't share the same sympathies. I play your rune. Just let my decoy take care of it. <laughs> You're a duelist mean, huh? Yeah. I enjoy playing a Yoru here and there. Surprise! I, I haven't seen a Yoru pick so far throughout this tournament. No. And, well, there's good reason for that. Not a lot of teams know how to play off of Yoru. And that is if the Yoru Ooh, player is any good. Celeron with the two picks. Exo wow, takes it. Oh, wow. Shmurda getting three. NC State taking map 15. Just one more and they'll be tied up with Cumberland. See what map, what round 16 has in store for us right here. Can Cumberland keep, take back the lead or will NC State tie it up? Going into a save round right here. Bulldog hero buying right here, potentially. Let's see, it looks like looks like Cumberland are going for a, a fake. It could be. Cover going be a distraction. Yep. Ooh, gets picked off. Unfortunate by Fate right there getting Blaze Top. Yeah, Blaze Top saw them trying to go for it. Said no, thank you. Sevsi is ready to peek. Shmurda just Shmurda holding off also ready, a main. Letting his B -main. setup take first contact. Dark is very low here. No teams have pushed. Just Nobody wants the to waiting uh, game. Just playing the waiting game right here. Playing the ver very slow waiting game. Hey, slow and steady wins the race. Sometimes. <laughs> Who knows? It 50 seconds on the clock. Target Only one person point. has been killed. Sky literally one shot right now. Okay. Recon dart goes out to market, gets shot down. Spray through the Shmurda smoke. Try to pop shots through the smoke. Get smoked off himself. Spraying. Oh, gets a oh. pig. Gets a headshot on Yoshi on B main. All their spamming into the smoke. Hoping to get a kill. Oh, sees one in Cubby right Just here. Barely saw one in the oh. corner. Oh. Nice. Shot darts. Gets, the pick gets on dark. TD dark. FC creeps around. Ooh, Sova gets picked off. Picks up the Grabs Vandal the for Vandal. himself. 2v4 right now. Oh, Unfortunate. Blaze Tap punishes XL for looking oh, away. Blaze Tap ends it off. Taking Matt, taking round 16 to tie it up with Cumberland University. 8-8. Eight and eight. Crazy wow. comeback right here. This is, <laughs> this is great. Like, uh, we were gone for like maybe five minutes, not seeing any game footage, and we come back to an eight and five map, and now we're up eight and eight tied. Cumberland needs to, uh, they need to pull together here. Uh, it it's like not good for them, especially here when they took the momentum of the first half. Being stopped like that, it isn't good for you. Ooh, unfortunate, this gets blinded. Yeah, the blind pushes off. The B main Good aggression. Spotted. Good Ooh, trades, trades right there. Yoshi sends out his the Prowler. Dog. Doesn't clear close right. Gets Wall. killed by Haji. Ooh, Haji. Haji gets two, three. three. One more. Fate creeps around the stairs. Finds Meets the operator they're misses. At right now. They're all going to push. Oh wow, Playstep is going for it. Oh, unfortunate. Great Haji distraction. With the 4K right there. Good stuff from NC State. They could possibly just end it off right here. 9A going into round 18. I am, I am very impressed by NC State here. They have managed to come back here and have taken the lead from Cumberland. It was not looking so great for them here at the beginning of this map, but Getting closer to the second half of the map. They just picked up the pace. They yep. just they pulled through. Mm -hmm. But who knows, maybe Cumberland might have a little sting up one or two up their sleeves just to see how they pull this off right here. It looks like NC State are running a 3-1-1 defense. 
Find Omen you. meets him. Cat gets one kill. Gets traded right here. Haji Ooh. gets one kill. Takes that Odin out too slow. Flashes again. Peaks. Peaks. Gets, gets two. Gets, gets traded, traded out. Two v three now. Unfortunate. Plays plays gets one. A. Yep. Zevsi is at twelve HP. Ooh. That was extremely wow. close. Almost taken out by that shock dart at twelve HP. Got me scared for that guy right there. If I were them, I'll, I'll probably be dead. Oh, timeout coming from Cumberland University. Hey, good way to stop the momentum right there from Cumberland right here. Try to figure out a game plan to see what's not working, what's working, see what they're doing wrong and not wrong. Yeah, this is great timeout timing from Cumberland. It really is. It's close to end game right here. Um, let's see. NC State's three rounds away from taking this map right here, and Cumberland just behind them by two rounds. Yep. What do you think Cumberland needs to do right here to take it? pick it back up and catch up i mean i think oh man i don't know the way nc state are going right now i think it's their map you think so yep what do you think cumberland's doing wrong that they could probably fix um i think it's a matter of respecting their opponents they've gotten away with so much at the beginning now that now they're a bit overzealous maybe a tad bit too much mm -hmm. you know We'll just see right here. Timeout should be over here in a minute, and we should be probably getting to see these guys go back in action here in a couple seconds. But I think Cumberland could possibly come through, but if they don't get, they don't just pick it back up, you just they're not going to pick up another round at all from NC State. So we'll see where round number 19 takes us. I will say, Cumberland does have a lot of ults online. They could easily take this round and then keep the momentum forward. We'll see, we'll see. Haji knifes out, main, tags nothing. They're all mid top. Just break through the smoke, try to see, get a couple of tags in. So far, not a lot of information has been given to Cumberland or NC State. First pick right oh, there, wow. Yoshi taken out. Spike and goes down. I know they're down at B. Jet pushing back. Rechecking, gets smoked off, goes back. Dark checks into tree, doesn't see anyone. Unbeknownst to nice. him. Oh, what a flick! Seekers. Good stuff. Cabbages Seekers going out. go out. Finding the other one. Flashes Pop out. Flashes. He's one of top glass. Oh, Ooh. Gets, gets punished for the aggression. Bomb grenade out. Next stage is waiting for them to come it's on site. Down to a 2v4. Planning. Man advantage. Fight goes down for Cumberland University. KJ Olt goes down for NC State. Gets picked it. off oh, and unfortunate. Haji just cleans up. Haji just picking it up right here. Haji with those two picks. Just got them that win right there. Wow. Defusing spike for that ult point right there for Jet. Blaze tap. What do you think about the op shorty combo? Op shorty combo? I think it's great. Although personally for me, I don't really I don't really use the op so much, so I don't find the necessity to spend the extra 150 creds. If I need to fight someone close range, I just sort of barrel stuff them with my operator. Mhm. Mm okay. Like, okay. Here's a controversial question that splits up the Val community. Where are you? Phantom or Vandal? Oh. Vandal all the way. I Vandal? That's my man right Why there. Why is that even a question? That's my man Why is right that even there. a question, man? That 140 dink hurts me every time. Exactly. I, I just can't stand oh, it. Oh, Celeron Ooh. showing the strength of the Phantom, though. No bullet tracers coming out the smoke, and Dark just dies. That's one thing about the Phantom. No bullet tracers. Very, you can just spray through the smokes as freely as you want with nobody knowing your position. I think he hurt us. I'm not going to lie. He was like, oh. Y'all like Vandals? No, Bet. we're delayed. If we just turn around <laughs> and see, they can't hear what we're doing. See you, Jet fake. creeping up slowly on A main, oh, pushing they, back. They're a bit scared of the wine. Uh, lurk. Mm, they're just trying they to see, trying to reevaluate what they should do here. They start backing off. Smokes off Cat, going towards mid. NC State are kind of, kind of floating around mid. Trying to react to what whatever Cumberland oh, decides to do. Fate spots one right there. Oh, Blaze Tap pushes out. Nothing in Gets peace. Off. Oh, Ooh. he's pushing. He's pushing. Oh, it's 
Got the shorty out. Oh, he Ooh, takes a shot. Right. Backs off. Oh, good shot. Backs out, Sevsi. Wow, this is a this is a mess in mid. Ooh, Man, so many Alder so many bodies. Fate, fate gets one. Fate gets two. Oh, it gets traded out by Haji. Ooh, this could be the deciding round right here. And as we're going into round 21, match point, match point for NC State. Cumberland has to do something right now, or it's game for them. They're going to be 0-2 right here at the LAN event, which is not looking too well for them. But as I as I said at the beginning of this game. This is more of an evaluation for them as these are all potentially new players and new players coming in in the fall. So kind of glad to see they're, they're not doing too, too bad playing as a team. But I think over the summer, once they work, they'll, they'll be very, they'll be a pretty nice team. Yeah. Uh, let's see here for the possibly final round. Cumberland goes out five man A. NC State are looking to retake here, not directly contesting them. Dog. Nobody, on, nobody on the site. Flash coming out, pushing down hill. Nobody there. Three rooms. Zelleron taking some shots through the smokes with a fan phantom. Fate gets tagged. They see they're in tree. They see they're in tree. Set up for the crossfire. Oh, yeah, this is where things out. get messy. Oh, Zelleron with the 2K. Lined up Pushes right Jen. Gets the 3K. Oh, no. Unfortunate and for Cumberland University. Gets taken out by NC State. 13-8 is how they're going to end off this game right here. Yep, that is game. NC State. Uh, really impressed with them this this match. They they came back with that um, comeback. It was, it was a pretty good comeback by NC State right there. Yeah, Cumberland had them, but Cumberland first came out on the short end of the of the game. Let's look at the scoreboard here. Haji uh, coming out with the biggest combat score: KDA 18, 12, and 17. Wow. Fate with 2016 with 241. Econ rating 63. I mean, these are not bad stats coming from both teams, but I feel like Cumberland was a little bit on the lacking side, as you could see. A majority of their players are on the bottom half. I was. But that was a great match. It, it was a great game. Great game for sure. Both teams played very well. Both teams played great Valorant, but NC State just came out on top. They were just a better team in this series right here. Well, I think this is the end of this right here, so you just want to end Just shut us out right here, man. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. We'll see you all in the next game. All right, guys. We're going to sign off. We're going to be in intermission and going on to the next. We'll catch you all around.
There you go. Oh. All right, and we are back with Converse going up against Wake Forest. Converse will be defending on Lotus. And so we already have the agent select here. And I just ran by you real fast, but uh, co-casting with me is... Hector, back again. Did I did Cumberland and NC State. Now we are here with Converse 1 against Wake, Wake Forest. Forest. I mean, it's, I feel like it's going to be a great matchup right here. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to see what these two teams could do. Give us some good fouling right now. So this is on Lotus, which is the new map. Or yeah, the I most recent map to be uh, added. The newest map I played was, was it Harbor or Pearl? Pearl. Pearl. Pearl is the newest map I've played. We so got some gecko action potentially right here. Oh. Tell me about Gecko's abilities. It's so we also like to help out these people in the stream as well, because I bet some people are tuning in and like, oh, it's been a while since I watched Valorant. Like, just let, me, let us know about Gecko's agent. abilities. So Gecko is the most recent agent to be included, um, and he is an initiator. Okay. And his kit is very interesting. Uh, he has I see that. I see three that. main abilities. He has a dizzy, which acts as a flash that is not avoidable, but you can't shoot it. So it is possible, but... If he throws it up into the air, it flashes all agents that are seen by the Dizzy. There's mm -hmm. also Wingman, which acts as a sort of raised boom bot. Spike, and right? it can plant the bomb and defuse it. Okay. So that is also another thing that has to be uh, taken account for. And then there's also Mosh Pit, which acts as a molly. So that's about the main kit. But then there's also the ult, which is called Thrash. And it acts as a, like, controllable dog. And if it hits an enemy, it detains them for, I believe, five seconds. Hmm. So this is going to be a really interesting match here. We do have the Gecko for Wake Forest. And I'm really excited. We're going with our two new recent agents added into the game, Harbor and Gecko, for this composition on Wake Forest. And Converse kind of just going, you know, play it more on the simple side. Still pretty good comp. We got the Sky, Omen, Neon, KJ, and as well Viper. Going double smokes. So immediate action here by Converse to take space here. Gon just got first intake. This is very typical for Lotus for defender sided teams to take a, a site space. Hmm. Because there's three sides to this map. Yeah, I see that now. It's kind of like um, if you're playing, what you call Haven. it? Haven. Haven has three sites as well. Haven? So. Yeah, yeah. But I'd say for this map, it's a bit more, uh, it's a bit more easier to defend three sites here for this map than on Haven. This map does seem a bit bigger than Haven. It is. It's like more open. But it is still, I'd say, more attacker sided. Jumper for the first pick takes out Buzz. Gonches gets core. It's now 3v2 Oops. here. Seeds. Right Fry right. gets one. Seeds. Seeds, it's now 1v2. Blitz is weak. Picks up the Last ghost. Gets the Ooh. one. But Ooh, couldn't good. get. Flick. That was good crosshair placement by Seeds. And Wake Forest take round one. On Man, Lotus. I'm not that good at this game no more. I'm <laughs> washed. I'm a CS kid. CS2. CS2. No, I'm joking. CS2 we're is we're coming out too, we're though. Huh? CS2 is coming out, though. Yeah, uh, in the summer. In the summer. I'm pretty excited to see the new skins. Um, see, like, all, like, the revamp of the graphics. I'm just very excited for that. But here we have Valorant right Valorant. now, so. I'm just I'm more into, like... How CS is more attacked out with their smoke, especially with that new smoke mechanic they added in, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. That is true. So round number looks two. Looks to be conscious with the sheriff. Push up by going here. Up. Go, go, go. Immediately takes space, Ooh. but gets gets punished for unfortunate, it. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Blitz holding off very tight right here. Flash. So this is a save round for Converse. And see, there's the Dizzy there. There's the Wingman going to plant. Yeah. Harbor the Code is protecting it. They can't shoot it, so it is possible to kill it. However, with the Harbor Cove or the shield, 
it protects it, so it's a very uh, good uh, combo to have the the gecko and the harbor. Blitz with the pick with the shorty, push him back. But oh, the door, the door. Has a Marshall now, but can't get it back. So it is now 2 0 for Wake Forest. Converse. Just off to a slow start right now. They have money now, potentially to buy weapons. Wake Forest just going into their bonus round. Just keep going in what they had previously, just going with the Spectres and wondering what Converse will be going in in into this third round. So, looking at this, they're kind of playing f more towards a B retake for on Converse side. Because there's no one there for Converse except that alarm bot. But you have two on C, two on A, with one kind of towards the mid link between B and A. Where one of the cool things about Lotus is that there are two revolving doors. Mm -hmm. One here towards C site, and there's one towards A site. And then there's also a breakable door between B site and A site where you can break it I and then go through. on that gecko right there on jumper. I see. Getting a nice shot onto jumper. So he's just trying to find some info to see where I see could potentially be at. So Wake Forest is in a bonus right now. So if they could convert this round, it would be very good for them economically. Mm -hmm. If they win this, Converse is kind of behind a couple rounds. Harbor Wall goes up. Cascade goes through. I see holding back, trying to find a pick. Here's a pick. Plan hasn't gone down yet. Left. Plan is now oh, not going down yet. Ooh, they are trapped. Now it's going down. Spike and the plan is stuck. For Wake Forest. Buzz takes off Archangel. Down to a 3v4 Converse with the man up. Gonchus takes out Spring. Gonchus with the spray. Takes out Rai Rai. Defuse. Icy takes out Core and they get with the defuse. Flawless round right there. By that Converse. was very well played by Converse on that oh, retake. Just allowing them to victory. take the side, get the plant down. Although it does give them uh, Wake Forest extra money for planning, but they're able to get the retake. They don't have anyone die from lower weapon, uh, lower eco guns, and all it is just to rebuy some armor if you got take if you're taking some damage. And other than that, just rebuy your abilities and you're all good for round number four right here. Yep. KJ set up on A, on B, C. <laughs> just do all of them. Uh, a B C D E F G. I know my ABC. Oh. Wow, what a off, right, right. great play Good pick. by Converse. Great pick. Very good trap play by Converse. And Jump. they have A control now. Oh, yeah, so they have full A control right there. Now Converse they have two has. on B, and they have the KJ soloing C. So does KJ always set up on C on this map? Uh, or is it a majority of the time that sh they will see her there? For the majority of the time, KJs are usually playing on C. Great pick by Jumper on the gaunches. From the mid, from A action right here. Blinded Gets protected flash. by the Viper wall. Get him, wingman. wingman goes out to clear out a cute little past thing the wall. Back and forth. It is really cute. So now we see the Thrash come out. The door is open. It's clearing out angles. Playing through hut. Oh, sees him like last second. And right it does there. not get anyone. So. Good pick by Seeds. Oh. Great two, two picks. picks by Seeds. Seeds just playing some. Playing well right now. Now. Converse now 2v3. Seeds gets out. Blitz. It's now 1v4. I see gets one. Gets two. two. Now a 1v2, however, the flank is coming through. Oh. Doesn't actually get the kill. Swings out. I see is very cautious where behind them now. Knows where one is now. Set up the cross. Breaks the turret. Ooh, the molly goes down. 
I was and like, it wait for doesn't to look save. like Ice is no going to be time. able to clutch the round. Can. However, he does they get call. Archangel, mm -hmm. but also falls to the spike. Unfortunate so, right there by Converse. Yes. So it is now 1-3 uh, in favor of Wake Forest. And we're now into round 5. So one thing I failed to mention with Gecko's util is that um, he only gets one of each, but he's allowed to pick it up. So there will be an orb that comes down after yeah, they use the detail. Yeah, I if he picks up that little orb that when he throws out that ability, is there like a small cool? There's cool a 10 second cooldown for each ability, or is for it each ability. Okay. So they can use it as many times as they want. So you see how he used the dizzy, and then, and then it falls down. Orb. He could pick it up after a certain amount of time; it'll disappear. But if he picks it up now, he would be 10 seconds. Until he can reuse it again. connects from IC2 seeds. Very scary right there. <laughs> and the other cool thing is that with his ult, he can use it twice in the same round. So oh, How's that? Like so again, if he uses the util and it doesn't hit anybody, or if it does hit somebody, the orb will still pop up. He can then grab it, and then after 10 seconds, he can use it again. But he can only use it twice a round. And then after that, it doesn't carry into the next. Gotcha. Icy with the picks on seeds with the off. Good value there. Omen blind. Okay, setting that up. Again. Omen goes out. Just holding off that cross right there. And the plant comes down. But oh, the wingman gets shot. And so Spike is down. Plant is and they have to swing through. Harbor pulls yeah. him down. Good trade. Astral taking out four. This is now one v four for Wake Forest. Three v one situation. Gonchas takes out Rai Rai. Given Converse. Map round number five. I don't know why I keep saying map. I'm just so used <laughs> to saying map. I don't know. But round so. number five. Two three Wake Forest. So one of the downfalls of Gecko's Util is that if there's not a way of protecting the wingman when it goes to plant. You can shoot it and then the plants get the climb. And then the same thing goes with the defuse. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting um, agent they added in. I kind of like it. It's, it's, it's new. It changes the play style and how it should be played because you got a little companion to help you out. Okay, I don't want to do the dirty work. You go ahead and do this little stuff. I'll, go, I'll just gun down people. You go yep. plant this little thing for me. It's very useful in terms of 1v1s as well. Oh, for sure. Pretty much is a 2v1 in a, in a sense. Yep. You have someone playing. You just got to protect that plant right there. So I got, I got a question. So let's say um, you are in a... You're te you are defending. You're about to defuse. You send out your you send out your um, wingman. Mm -hmm. You get picked off, but your wingman is on the bomb. Does it still go? Um, keeps defusing. It used or to be at first that it would still defuse even after, but now there's been a change, so it if, dies if as the agent you die. dies. The wingman dies. With yes, the agent. at the end. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. What to say? Because if that happened, I'll, I'll be kind of a little bit too OP. Well, that's why they nerfed it. So, good on Riot for doing that. But we're in round six, four v four, and there's a little bit of time left for Wake Forest to. Probably just gonna uh, do a C execute right here around like I'm gonna say 25 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. So it's looking like. They have like the fatal. Face your okay, 25 seconds. I call it. Yep. Right there. Util dump right here. Fatal jumper gets taken out. Blitz so look with at 2K bomb spike. Look goes. at the Util that they're trying to run into. Defender Killjoy comes out, and. There's no way that Wake Forest can push into no, this. They're just saving. They're just going to save those two weapons right there. The Guardian and the Vandal. What a good hold by Converse. Right. The good use of utility. Good cross. Taking Very round well number six to tie it up with Wake Forest right here. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Both teams are playing great Valorant right now. They're not rushing anything. They're playing very slow. Trying to make sure what's the... Mm -hmm. Right decision to do in these situations they're being put in. Yep. Just a little so chat right there by Wake Forest right here. A little huddle going in, buying each other weaponry. Looks like it's going to be a little bit of a. Hey, that's my eco. dog. 
right there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of an eco for Wake Forest. And Converse taking a lot of space into C and opening the revolving door and getting seeds. After with the pick. Very nice. Gaunt is just holding off this um angle. Opens and that's up. their gun down. What do you call that? Like, do you just call it secret door, or you call it like? Um, I believe people usually call it door. Got you. I don't know. It's just been a couple months since I played. I have not played in the, this new season where they added this new map in at all, or Gecko. I haven't even touched the game. I watch it here and there, especially since um, it's VCT going on, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. There are currently matches going on right now. Ooh, it's currently super. Right, right. Deeks, icy. Being down to one HP. But all this KJ util. Stopping the push. Jump. Oh, good. Jumper gets icy. Blitz gets Archangel. 4v3. Gecko comes out, clearing out the A side. Doesn't find anybody. Oh, unfortunately. Ash will get out right, right. Gonchas take out core. Now 3v1. Jumper gets Astro one. Astro with the trade and good stuff right there by Converse right here. 3k for Astro on the round. And Converse takes the lead. 4-3. No. Did they? Were they able to pick up the op? Because there's an op on the ground. I see did drop an op and it looks like they did. Oh yes, I see has got the op back. Setting up for round number seven right here. Nope, round number eight. Ooh, can't count. Right there. <laughs> Man. So, Cascade Wall's gonna go through. Viper Pit's gonna go down early on the B site from mm -hmm. Converse. They just don't want no one pushing through right there. Good stuff. Kind of like a you're an ice box. Mm -hmm. yeah. Since that like B area is such like a tight angle, you can yeah. really. Take Pretty a lot of space. Cutting off both sides, they can enter. No, it's good stuff right there. I see holding down A side with an operator. It's oh, gonna it's peak. I see. Doesn't find anybody. Harbor wall is gonna go up. My wingman's gonna go and plant. Oh, he's gonna cannot take out the wingman right there. But the plant goes down still. No, the or plant. plant Hasn't gone spike down. goes down. What happened? Did he did, did he take out the wingman? I think it might have been util like KJ Molly util. Gosh, yeah. I got the spike. So they're gonna try again. We're going down with the plan. Spike, spike has been planted. Lit with the judge. Trying to find takes one. Takes out gets jumper. Archangel takes out. Two v four. Astro gets another. Two v three. Gun picked up. Ooh, unfortunately, Seeds six gets split. He's out 1v3. That's for one shot. Gets spotted by the Prowler of Fade. Oh, Seeds. With Takes the out grenade. Astro with the grenade. Tie it up. Taking up round number 8, Wake Forest. 4-4. Four, four, going into round number 9. Very well played by uh, Wake Forest. They were able to get the spike down, and then they were able to get into their post plant positions. Hey, their trades were going out back to back right there, but just wait for it. Just play, just play that round better right there between the two. So, you have some, you have, we have a certain connection with Converse, don't we, Rezo? I am not affiliated with Converse at all. <laughs> No, but we have a good friend of ours that plays for Converse. This we do have a good they, friend. They are not on this um, Converse roster, but they are going to be coming up soon. Potentially, you may be able to see them. Mm -hmm. But our first signee from CUCC. Yes. Proud of him. Proud of the guy, Crass, a.k.a. Jesus. Are you going into the pushing onto B? So they have a lot of players towards B sides. Looks like they might try and execute a B exec. Playing very slowly right here. Viper wall still up for Converse. Might wait for the wall to go down and then execute. They're, yeah, they're waiting for that wall to go down so they can just util dump and just get that spike planted. Hopper wall goes up. Molly goes out. And that stops that push entirely. But the 
Wingman still goes through. Wingman. Plant's coming down, Ooh. but is Six stopped. Lines. That Harbor ult goes down. Gontra takes out Rai Rai. Ashro takes out Core. Good stuff. Jumper takes out Gontra. Icy. Ice. Oh, good round by Converse right there. That was just a gray hold by Blitz. I was just seeing and headshot, Omen. headshot, headshot. Good yep. stuff by the Converse, guys. The util they used on B to try and stop the plant and also hold off any push into the site really helped for that flank to get a lot of value. Mm -hmm. Converse playing some great, great Valorant. So Converse takes the lead off that as we go into round 10. Yep. Very close game. Cascade comes out. No pushovers. Quick push. I get the A again. Flash, Good. Sky Flash goes out. Oh, we got to push into C long. There's my buddy. Pooks up there, Dizzy. Slowly creeping onto the C site right here. Wake Forest oh, yeah. trying to see Monster what they could do. Thrash comes out. The Gecko. It Denied. gets destroyed. Harbor wall goes up. And they are pushing onto the site. Unfortunately, cannot get a pick there. Wake Forest going pushing on, going for the spike plant right here potentially. And plant goes down. Oh, blitz! Spam! Carry has been killed right at the edge of it. It was almost down, literally by a millimeter, I would say. Wake Forest trying to pivot. Ooh, Astral gets blinded. Trying to recover that spike. Blitz gets taken out, get that trade in. Astral takes out C. Gonja's pushing it with the Neon ult and takes out two. Good Neon ult right there. Good way to end round number 10. That was Converse. very well played by Converse. Wake Forest almost had it right there, but unfortunate that they literally, that spike carrier had to get the night of that plant literally a millimeter off. Yeah, it was very close for the plant to go down. Just very unfortunate by Wake Forest. We go into round 11. It looks like Wake Forest is going to go onto an eco so they can have money for the last round and a half next round. So hopefully they can get a lot of value out of this eco. Get a couple picks, see what happens. Get a couple guns potentially. Launch is taking out and two, three. One enemy and get the 4K. Up, gets the and K. he gets the fourth. Oh my goodness. Um, precise gunplay this in this game. You can just slide and shoot like it was caught. That Neon is able to take a lot of space because of her utility with the speed. And then also the flashes from the Omen and the Sky just made that very well played her by Converse. Her slide is really useful. Her kit. I'm actually, I like seeing a lot of Neon gameplay recently. At first when Neon first came out, no, no one really touched her. But like later on throughout the seasons came out, they're like, hey, let's just in interpret Neon into our gameplay and see how it goes. And Neon just fits so well now in these compositions. Yeah. So we go into round 12, last round of the half. We'll see, can Wake, Wake Forest, Forest make this a 5-7 or can Converse make this 8-4? You said this was an attacking-sided map? It is usually predominantly an attack side or map, but based spike. on maybe the compositions, I would have expected Wake Forest to do a bit more. You have more of an attack on attack composition. Because they have the rays and then you have the fade, but you also have harbor, which can place lots of walls for you. And then the gecko and harbor go hand in hand. So, I would have expected a bit more rounds, but overall, they're still playing pretty well on this attack half. Killjoy Oit has not detained anybody. Astro has found somebody. Blitz gets taken out by Jumper. 4v4 here. Jumper, Jumper gets, gets another. Buzz takes out seeds. 3v3. Oh, wow. Astro takes out Archangel. It's now 1v3. Last one alive for Wake 4 is trying to find them. Get smoke. Oh, left a little gap. Smokes blocks the angle. However, Astro gets one. Spike still hasn't been defused yet. 
Ooh, gets tagged up. Gets tagged up. And he gets oh the one and he gets the other. Oh my gosh. Way <laughs> he gets Forrest. Core gets the 1v3 clutch to take Wake Forest into a 5 7 half. Very well played. You can by hear Core the passion there. behind us as well. I heard Wake Forest screaming right there. Core. Oh. Very well played by him. And we go into the second half. 7 5. Commerce is now on the attack side. And Wake Forest will now be defending. Yep. That's what it looks like right here. See if Wake Forest can bring this up or Converse can you just like end it right here on attack. We're going out for an A push. Sorry, Bam 13 here. So. Gaunch just trying to find that pick. First contact right there mid. Tags too. healing. Looks like they're gonna take tree control. Right, I'll go. I'll try to find some info. Finds one in the back side. Neon wall comes out. Over none of them swings through or pushes through him. Ooh, good trade Spike right here. Okay. Trade after trade right here from both teams. Trade in, this is just a trade battle right here. Who can win these trades right here? Now 2v2. God just takes a reposition. God just gets core. It's now a 1v2 situation. Spike still hasn't gone down yet. Wait, four is backs off, so they have free spike plan right here for Converse. It's tagged. Sends out Harbor Wall. One enemy remaining. And he gets the headshot onto Icy. Diffuse is going down. Oh no, they didn't even get the first half. But he doesn't stick it to half. And Gon just knows it. And he couldn't get the kill. And has time taking round number 13. And that's a 1v2 clutch by Archangel. Unfortunate via Converse right there. They just didn't, they just didn't play it well right there. They just, they just got outplayed. It was a bit of a poor positioning, but he also did just lose the aim duel as well. So that's gonna be Wake Forest taking the pistol round, so they get to buy up. Buy up, going for Spectres. Trying to see what they could do. Converse going for an eco with some sheriffs. And uh, a ghost and some a pistol, a classic. I'm actually seeing the I'm actually enjoying the, the competition that we have here at this land this year. Very great competition. Yes, very competitive. This is a pretty close match so far. Chance is going up mid, going towards B. You see what they can find. Both teams playing very slowly, just waiting on each other to see what their first move's gonna be. See if someone pushes up aggressive. This is all about the waiting game. This. Nade comes down from C. Pushing up. Pushing in fast. Taking up space. Plant going down. Gets a pick. And he gets one. Oh, and he couldn't get, get the get other. Two. 2v3 situation. Spike is down. Blitz does have mollies, but Icy's over towards C has opened the door. Molly goes down. Another Molly goes down again. Icy gets a pick on seeds. It's now 2v2. He's sticking in the fuse. He's weak. It's now 1v2. Both are pretty low. And Blitz. And they win the eco. Well played by Converse right there. I mean, they, they used the util that they need to do that. Viper Molly just came post out. Post plant was very well done. Mm -hmm. The post plant positions were great. I just think KJ shouldn't held the plant right there and just taken down. I think they should just waited for those mollies to go out. Unfortunately, I just led it to that. But well they had the health Congress. advantage too. But the mollies, they 
Maybe that KJ weak. didn't take that damage. They could have won that round for Time sure, but unfortunately, seat. they just like they wanted to tank it through and get it to half. So we're at eight six now in favor of Converse. Looks like a quick push out from B by Wake Forest. And Burst is just gonna clean up jumper. Harvard pushes they away. Just got to see control. Converse push, not Converse, but Wake Forest is pushing back, trying to see what they could do. See what they could do for retake. Regrouping, the plant gets down. Positioning themselves for post plant right here. Wake Forest gonna have to tackle a four v five retake with eco weapons. Launches repositioning, trying to get that pick. Spot seeds takes out seeds. Buzz and takes out Archangel. KJ looking for the last, looking for Fade. Nine bullets only. Right next to Waterfall. Can't seem to spot him. No good on the area. And Ivy takes out Rai Rai. Taking round, round 17. Round 15. 17 is next round. Run round 17, guys. Round 17. Woo! <laughs> it's round 16. 16. Woo! <laughs> I have not ate lunch yet. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's the problem. I, I, I haven't had lunch, guys. Well, I really haven't ate anything at all today, but we'll be fine. <laughs> so Converse with the flawless round still has good guns for the most part, as Wake Forest will be able to buy up. And it looks like it's going to be a fast C push, it looks like. Potentially, potentially. Go, go, go. Going in, rushing. Back flash goes go. out. Gets blinded by his... What was that blind? Or was that a smoke? I don't know. Molly's go through. Takes out the KJ bot. And then again. Converse taking a lot of space. Being Four able to get the plant three. down. And now it's a full retake attempt by Wake Forest. Harbor Oak comes out for Wake Forest. Not getting anyone though because oh, of. Oh, they're playing for lineups right here. They're all playing off site. Cove comes out for Wake Forest. Ooh, good trades. Ice takes out. Refuse to stop. Gonchers gets one. It's now 3v2. Last player standing. Buzz gets one and then Blitz gets the kill and Converse wins the round. And it is now 10-6 after 16 rounds. Now it is round 17. I, I, I was trying to keep up with what was going on because there's like trade after trade. Like they're doing so well with these trades. Both teams are like, it's great. Like I wish I had teammates that do that when I played. <laughs> but no, people would just hide or just bait. <laughs> so Converse has quite a bit of ults on their side. It looks Got like they're going to do another fast C push, it looks like. Being Wake Forest has read onto that. They're like doing that fast C push. Who knows? They might stop him right here. Maybe not. Maybe Converse just... Oh, Jumper, Jumper takes gets out Gonches. Stop that aggressive push. Icy takes out four. Jumper takes out Buzz. Takes Jumper out gets a blitz. blitz. Gets a three kick. Down. Unfortunately, gets taken out by Astral. You down to a 2v3. Wait. KJ oh, comes one. down for Converse. See if they can push him off the angles. Icy gets Archangel. It's now 2v2. Good pick. Good pick. Astral yep. has his ult now. 2v2. I think they know where these guys are at now. Spot where they both are. They know where Ooh, Astral gets is. There. Uh. Last player standing. And Astral, Astral gets the double kill well onto Ryder Seeds. Well played by Converse right there. Well played. Get them to 11 after. Wink needs to like just take a little pause and see what's going on. Because right now, if they don't take that time. This could go to match point. I think they need to stop the momentum because Converse just, is just carrying it on. Like, Neon still has ult. Viper still has ult. But Wake Forest does have their fade ult. KJ and Gecko. 
But the thing is, is that Converse has been doing these fast pushes. And unfortunately, they just can't hold on to the site long enough. And then when they play retakes, they're getting battered by post plant positions and also post plant util. And it kind of screws them over yeah, in the DJ long run. On the flank. Fatal comes out early. Most of Wake Force here. Good pick. 43. Oh, takes out Jumper. 3v5 situation for Wake Forest. Unfortunately, Gaunt just couldn't get the confirm it, so Cord takes him out. 4v2 here. One enemy remaining. Blitz, Blitz gets one. And he Wait. gets the last player standing 12, and 12-6. Six. Six. Match point. Match point. I just feel like, if I'm not mistaken, Wake Forest has not used a timeout at all this map. Neither team has used the timeout. I think Wake Forest should have used that earlier on. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, since they did have not, I think they just can't do nothing no more. Unless they can stop the momentum here and take a timeout on the next round. But it just seems like they're just going to force up here and see what could, if There's some could help them. I mean, Guardian, the Phantom, the Judge. Out the neon ult. Just Going in very heavy. Takes out tree room. He yep. gets the kill on jumper. He had the judge. Spike has been planted for converse. Viper pick goes down. Gonchus Rai gets Rai Rai. One enemy and Ooh, he also gets core, but gets traded. Icy takes out Archangel. Now it's a 4v1 situation. Seeds take out Icy. And but Astral ends up by taking out the 13 6. Converse 1 is your winner of this map. 13 6 against Wake Forest. Well played by both teams. Converse coming out on top this match. Gaunches with 24 kills. Icy with 22. Blitz with 15 to lead for Converse. And then Seeds with 13. And Jumper with 11 to lead for uh, Wake Forest. Very well played by both teams. Again, like I said, this is more an attack side of your map, so if you don't really do so well on your defense side, then you're kind of left in a bad situation. Yeah, and I mean, Converse did so well on the defense too, especially since it's a defender side The retakes were very good, exactly. very well played. Um, any final thoughts about uh, I just think match? both teams play very well, but Converse was just a better team overall. I mean, 13-6. I think Wake Forest should have, have used their timeout to slow it down, but I guess I just went over their heads right there because slowing down the pace of the game could really help them out right there. That is very true. It would have helped stop the momentum, and they could also think of a more better game plan to how to deal with such a fast, aggressive uh, attack side. But that's going to be it for us here for this matchup, and we'll see you in the next match. Bye-bye. <laughs>
So we are back. This is uh, CMS Coaches versus Converse 2. So this is their second team. And I'm Rezo. And with me, I have... This is uh, Cody Dalton, the head coach at Catawba Valley Community College, a.k.a. the Codemeister. So you can call me Code, Coach, or I think we decided on what coach is probably yeah. what I'm going to go with here. So, it's uh, what you're most known for as yeah, the coach. Absolutely. I thought I'd uh, try my hand at the casting. So we have Haven here as our first map. We have Converse 2 attacking with uh, a CMS coaches defending. So we already have a comp selection here for Converse, and it's looking predominantly like your typical Haven comp. We're seeing some interesting hovers here for uh, CMS coaches. So Double initiator really on the side of uh, Converse here. Yep. Sova, my personal favorite here. Chamber but. selected. Reyna selected. Oh, my goodness. A very, very differing comps, but each with their own strengths and weaknesses. And so we are going to be going into Haven now. Interesting no brimstone pick here. You know, I, guess I, see, I see two omens. You know, obviously, I guess you can play any controller you want, but kind of kind of surprised that there's not at least one brimstone on here. For Haven, it is typically it's it's kind of a your own poison for how you want your controller choice to be. Omen's pretty good because you have the versatility of the TPs and then also the mollies, or not the mollies, sorry, the blind. Yeah. But then for Brimstone, you'll have the molly and then you also have the stim beacon, but you do only are limited to three smokes. And if you have to pivot so much based on your comp, then it does hurt you in the end. But yeah. Again, it's just based on your own preference. So Very similar compositions. It'll be interesting to see here the KJ and the Chamber Sentinels on both sides here. Yeah, both, again, with their own strengths, own weaknesses. I'd say I'd like KJ more just because this is prior to any nerf that's done. Uh, there's an update that's coming soon with KJ nerfs for the Mollies. But for Chamber... He's pretty much been nerfed to the ground. So I'm really interested to see how CMS coaches use Chamber. But it looks like we're going to have a strong B hit by Converse 2. Muda getting the first pick on tonight. And then Muda getting another pick on to C Cup. And getting an Ishar. With a 3k already. Chris getting Arctic. Crass getting the... Uh, trade this chamber pick already getting a test here early in the first round and just couldn't get it done so puffin gets the kill on precise so obviously me and you both we recognize one of those names there for converse too absolutely crass my former uh, mentor or pupil that a uh, pupil mentor relationship we had a uh, catawba valley product now at converse uh Weird seeing him with the CVU, you know, for, forever it was RH Crast, and but uh, as our players go on to the next level, which you know, thankfully to stay plugged in, that's getting that opportunity and being recruited and have events like this, it's uh, it's really awesome. Yep. So we go into round two with Converse leading 1-0. CMS coaches kind of the doing a on. fast push in the mid, but realizing that they're going to pivot towards A. Dash in for Wildfire, gets pick onto Risk, and it is a plant down. Converse again exploding onto these sites. Instantly taking uh, the advantage, taking the positioning. Muda gets to pick onto Sika. Puffin getting two against Precise and Knight. And Wildfire Whoa. getting the pick onto Anshar. I'm sorry. Tense if I'm moments there with Wildfire. Yep. One health and a dream, but uh, able to finish it off. Very well played by Converse on that attack. So Haven is predominantly an attack side in map. This is I said this with Lotus, but it's just because there's three different sites, so that's three different sites you have to protect as a uh, defender. So hopefully with this buy up from CMS coaches, we see possibly a better hold. So. Uh, and the thing with these three-sided maps is you know, really a lot of it's how you control the middle part of the map. Yes. Uh, 
You know, I love Lotus because KJ is just a, such a great pick on there. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated with Haven um, because you've got the garage area and, and a little bit different. And Converse, Converse explode. Just cleaning up, even with these lower, like, powerful weapons. But now it's a 5v2 and CMS coaches kind of trying to get something done but couldn't get that done. And it's a flawless round on a bonus for Converse. Very well played by Converse with that push. And yeah. When B the first round, when A the second round, when C the third round, and executed push with aggression. And uh, they've they've taken their space. I said, this is my territory coming to my house. And, uh, <laughs> And they've they've done done very well, very well here on the attack side. And I think you're kind of seeing how, uh, with the first match I actually talked about was there was I a Reyna pick, and with Reyna you have to be aggressive with how you get kills because your kills is what makes you useful. If you're not getting picks, then you're not getting any value for your team. Your util requires that you get kills. So hopefully we see something done with the Reyna pick as well. However, Converse again takes Seasight and gets two picks already. And it's now 3v5 retake for CMS coaches. Only with Sheriffs and a Classic. Pin these two players down in. The Sika gets Wildfire. All three of these players in Garage. Nobody trying to flank here, nobody trying to CT. It's good for these Zikos to play into groups so you can just overwhelm them with numbers. Because you're most likely going to be dealing with 1v1s. Puffin gets to pick on Knight, but Zika trades. So, 2v3. Manageable situation here, but Crash wow. gets the 2k against Zika and Precise. And it is now 4 0 for Converse 2. Very well played once again. CMS coaches made a run at that last round, but. CVU being able to withstand the surge there. CVU 2, Here. excuse me. Uh, two Converse teams in this uh, LAN event today. Mm -hmm. Thought they would come up with something interesting. You know, Converse, I don't know, classic Converse, I don't know. But we've, we've got, I guess, Converse 1, Converse 2. We'll, yep. Uh, so, stun goes out, long. Dark comes out. A lot of information grabbed, but again, this fast push by Converse. Not as aggressive in the side as they have been. Flash goes out. Knight gets the kill on the Buddha. Oh, Sika taking out Arctic after a trade there. Puffin gets Risk. And it's a 3v3. Even numbers here. But a default defense, though. Across the map here. This is where on defense the number is hurt if you're low on defense side because now see how each defender is now separated on each different site. The difficulty of defending on the sided map. Wildfire gets Sika and is now an A push. Puffin's gonna plant and it's now 2v3 retake with an op. Wildfire with the Great shot onto Anishar, and it's now a 1v3 retake, and it looks like Precise is just going to hold the angle and save that operator. Yeah, can't give up that op. Kind of surprised, though, that uh, CMS didn't you know, play a little bit more patiently there. You wait for the chamber to pull up, and, and you at least try to go at it 2v3, but may have had an idea there. Ooh, wow. Spots him and oh, gets the and pick. Doesn't save the op. He's not going to pick up the op, and it's now 5-0 for Converse. Yeah, that's the debate. You know, you get an op on the on the field. Do you, do you pick it up on the map? Do you pick it up? Do you leave it? Um, sometimes it can be a blessing. Sometimes it can be a curse because you keep that thing in play. It may help a, a team pull back in it. Sometimes it's good just to lay that thing uh, to rest, and uh, that's what Converse decides there. Absolutely correct because it's a pretty expensive gun. It's 4,700 credits and if you have it and then you drop it and the other team gets to pick it up that's a free gun for them. And they, you 
might as well uh, just empty your pockets and say, hey, here, take my money. And uh, yep. give them that utility. Oh, Knight pushing up here. Nice push up here. Whoever isn't going to get much value. Another pick. Zika gets another. So 3v3. It's going to push out from mid. CMS coach is getting a little aggressive here after after Converse was the aggressor early on. Smoke's going to come down. Flash has come out. It's going to look like it's going to be A is where the bomb's going to be planted. And just great util use by Risk to kill the planter. So now it's a 3v2. Wildfire pops his knives. Reyna ult is out. He gets Risk. It's now 2v2. Couldn't get the one puffing in a 1v1. 1v1 situation here. Oh, and he gets puffin'. it. Great headshot by Puffin. And it is now 6 0 in favor of Converse. Converse has bent, but they haven't broken. Very well played. The calls here by Converse has been pretty good. So they try and do a lot of uh, pushes. They can pull back. They can decide to re-hit, or they can decide to wait for them to push, play a default. It's very well played by their IGL who's calling. It looks like it's going to be a C stack for CMS coaches. However, it's going to be an A push. You should it run. looks like it's going to be a flank here. But Wildfire couldn't get the pick, and now that's a free gun for uh, this is CMS coaches. It's going to be really interesting. Pushing up aggressively here on defense. Oh, so many players on flank. The this other thing too is that they have they have some ults they can work with. They have the breach ult, and they also have silver ult. Buddha holding the angle gets oh. precise, or gets knight. Ult, sorry, yeah. Arctic gets the pick on price. Now Again, it's a three even three. here, but Converse has managed to win these. Risk gets crass. Ult comes out for Sika. We're just gonna have to play heavy retake here. We'll see. One enemy remaining. And he kills the spike diffuser, dropping down 1v2. He jumps, but he gets the kill anyway. The amazing retake by the Valkyries. Wow. Ensuring the spike doesn't get diffused after being down man advantage. It's now 7 0 in favor of Converse 2. Looks like CMS Coach's Chamber is going to pop their ult. So now they have that operator, that ult operator. And I'll tell you, the, the sign of a really good Valorant team, you know, how well you play the retake. And CVU there did excellent job playing that retake. Yeah, the post plant was very well done. With a little bit of luck, they were able to clutch the round. Quick push by Wildfire, but gets punished for it. Interesting split here by Converse. See the Reyna there in window in mid. Has a very aggressive see. position. Reyna still holding that window there. So if this Omen rotates around, might be a free pick here for this Reyna. And there it is, Asika. Crass gets the trade. It's now a 4v3 in favor of CMS coaches. They're going to push into the C site. But Anishar gets one and gets Spike two. It's now a 1v4 for Converse. Arctic's going to have to get a 1v4 clutch. Gets Anishar, but couldn't get precise. And and Chamber ult comes into play as uh, CMS coaches gets their first round there. Coaches get CMS coaches get their first round win. And here's some cheers down there and the little bit of confidence. I know when you lose seven in a row, it's it's good to get one under your belt. You got no goose eggs sitting there, so it helps you build some momentum. That Arctic here with the Odin. Odin is kind of strong in this map. This this map isn't as 
has many paper walls as the scent does, but there's some there's some good wall bangs you can do. Crass gets the pick onto Risk right off the bat. Pasika gets two, and then Precise gets Muda. It's now four v two. Very change in momentum. Arctic gets Sika. Dark goes through. Doesn't find Sova any Omen blood. versus Sova Omen and the Sova Omen for CMS, CMS coaches coming out with that one. It's now 2 7. Converse still leading. Again, such a momentum game. I talked about getting one on the board, and there's two now. Uh, CMS coaches building a little bit of momentum here. Right there. Very well done by them. Great round. CMS coaches still have a lot of ults to play around with. They still have the Breach ult for retake. They have the Reyna ult. They also have the Omen ult. They could very well end this half 5-7. I was surprised Converse kind of went away from the bread and butter here. The ult strong, aggressive pushes. Oh. And the blind goes through. Gets one, but couldn't get the other. Muffin almost getting two off the stone. Ooh, Arctic in a very tough position. Couldn't get the kill. Quick push by CMS coaches. Wafra gets to pick on Sika. Gets precise as well. CMS coaches are now One down the man. Crash gets to pick on Knight, and it's now a 1v3. So it's down to the omen on. CMS coaches here. My planted, my ult Curious ready. to see how this is played here. Good setup from CVU on uh, immediately going on a defense after you plant that bomb. Player position. Switch your mindset. And Wildfire gets that pick, and it is now 8-2 for Converse. Very well played by Wildfire to get those three picks. Very good aim, and well done overall by Converse on that attack. But very well played as well to CMS coaches for how they pushed up A long. They applied a lot of pressure to Converse, but Converse answered back with their own pressure. Unfortunately for them, it cost them two of their more duelist, well, a duelist and a duelist-esque chamber and arena. Um, so that that Locking did sight. come at a cost, but yeah. I think this is going to be an all-out war this round. Just the way this is like a mini-map, yeah. Wildfire gets two, goes over, gets the third with the shorty. It's now 2v3. Muda gets risk, it's now 1v5. And unfortunately, not a very uh, good uh, chance for uh, CMS coaches to come back this one. As I'm assuming, well, Sova has nothing really to save here. You got a stinger. And you definitely don't want to save a stinger because economically it's not good, and then otherwise it's not good. 4K for Wildfire. Very well played. Great aim. Last round and it was a beautiful round by Wildfire, just getting those two picks exploding over sight and then getting that uh, shorty, shorty kill. kill. That was That's what set Converse up for success that round. So 9-2 for Converse, 2 here. And they have a chance to go 10-2. 14 apiece for Puffin and Wildfire. So we'll see, can Converse... Uh, avoid the dreaded 9-3. Oh, yes. I didn't even realize we were close to that number. <laughs> so, very fast C exec here. Not going to deal with a lot of pressure. Plant's going to go down. But Sika Ooh. gets a nice pick on the wildfire over the smoke. Great shot by Sika. It's now 4v5. Converse do have the Silver Ult to play around with. CMS 
Coach is still with a good advantage here. Gets spammed. This crass gets caught. Thought he was hidden on site. Muda with the flank around to Garage. It's now 4v1. And CMS coaches, they get the round. It's now 3-9. There's your 9-3, yeah. So how about you explain what 9-3 curse is? So I, the only thing that I've heard is the statistics have been done that the teams that traditionally uh, in the half up 9-3 lose the round more times than not. So um, if you're if you're a superstition person, you're thinking, hey, CMS coaches is going to make a run back and we're going to at least go tie over time. If you're converse, you're like, we don't believe in 9-3 right now. We don't, we, we don't, un there's no such yeah. thing. Like, <laughs> we're going to win three here, four here, and we're going to call it a day. So, uh, however, it has, again, statistically, it's a curse. That's why it's called that. It's, it's happened a lot of times. Very it's happened many times in pro matches. It's happened sometimes here. I think last year there was a match that went like that, from what I remember. And it happens every day in Valorant, so. Superstitious or not, I feel, I'd feel i feel more comfortable if I was up 12-0 at the half than I would. Very much so. <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna be a C push here for CMS coaches. They're gonna push very aggressively here. And it's gonna be a full retake for Converse too. CMS coaches given the Converse a taste of their own medicine from early in this game. But look at them take aggressive barrage control. Oh. Muda gets two though. Puffin gets one. It's now a 2v4. Puffin gets risk, and that's all she wrote. Wow. Converse 2 with the retake against CMS coaches. Muda getting two there is pretty good and also probably what helped Converse win the round. I tell you, I don't I don't like that having you you have three players pushing in the garage there. It was uh, all players, actually. Yeah, it was so the majority I, of the players there. So, I mean, I just don't think, you know, you got to at least be set up. And I guess that's where executes come into play. A lot of teams work on executes. You know, where are we planting? Where are we setting up after the plant? Um, you know, it's uh, it was very costly there for CMS you. coaches. Cause you can, capitalize. Yeah, you could really have good XX, but your, your next uh, hurdle is post-plant position. And if you don't have a good post plant positions or good post plant like scenario, you're kind of just uh, left with the same issue of losing the round. So fast push into B, Risk and Sika getting their own picks, Muda getting one precise. It's just back and forth. However, it's a virtual chess game that it is that is Valorant. CMS coaches with primarily the better guns. It's now 1v3. Risk gets one. Or, sorry. Arctic gets Risk. And Postplant's still there. Saw a bit of the barrel, but uh. ran out of bullets and tried to use the shock dart, but couldn't get it out. And that's a that's sort of a thrifty round for uh, CMS coaches. It's a way to respawn from a tough round loss by CMS coaches. You know, going back to the whole uh, thing on executes there, I mean, it's uh, you, you can't do that against a good a good team and a good program like Converse. Um, I mean, you run into teams that are that are literally that's what they eat, sleep, and breathe. They focus on it, execute it. Uh, they will pay, make you pay in those situations. And yes, they're always prepared to have certain retake scenarios that they want to do. So. Muda so taking some there. contact. However, he's going to back out. And CMS coaches are having the space, but having plants in the wrong spot. Precise here. A couple big eliminations. Wildfire gets the floating shot onto Sika. It's now 2v2. Jumping Marshall shot right there. That's, that's lucky. Drake, dr straight to the chat. Well, I mean, it's... Guarantee if it if it attacks, it's guaranteed 101 damage. But you shouldn't be even getting any hit at all if you're moving either. Uh, yeah. I've One enemy remaining. Qualifier, nice headshot. Couldn't get the second. And it's going to be a 1v1. Breach v omen here. 
Plant's not down yet. Anishar does have the better gun. So, Crass here. Wraps around and gets the clutch against Anishar with the Spectre. Just bad timing, unfortunately, for Anishar trying to plant the spike. Gets caught. And it's crazy. If he, if he knows what we know and he knows that that breach is all the way on the other side, you probably plant there. You get a free plant. You set up post-plant. And you have a little bit better chance there. Uh, prob prob probably in the, in the driver's seat to win the round. But Crass played that really well. You know, pushed late. Gave a lot of opportunity for yeah. Anishar to kind of get into his own head. Absolutely. Well played. So At that point, you're questioning, when should I plant? When, when, when <laughs> should I go? When should I? What should I do? Oh. So, Wildfire gets to pick on a VF9. Very aggressive push by Converse here. And they're just going to back out, getting a pick. Hard C-Long push. And out of that, didn't lose anyone and actually got a pick. Risky play there, you risk losing those those jet knives. But they got the pick, pulled back. Thought that was gonna be a little bit more violent than it actually turned out being. But. Yeah. Crass gets another one. 5v3 now. Puffing gets one. one. Crass gets risk, and then Crass also gets Anishar for the three piece. 3k for Crass. So it is now match, match point. point for Converse 2 against CMS coaches. It is 12-4. Checking on over the Tarleton complex here where this is being held, seeing the moods of these teams. So CMS coaches do have Reyna ult. They also have Omen ult as well. So they could do something with that, but they're pretty much fighting for OT at this point. And it is a hard climb up against a very uh, talented Converse 2 team here. Wildfire gets the pick on Risk. And that's their breach player, so very tough to do XX from there. Knight gonna lurk up C. Baited the push kill up C detail. with Sova here, but everybody else together makes you think, are they gonna try to... Are they trying to push or spread this Converse team out a little bit? Nita gets pick on Precise. Sika gets Wildfire. Takes that off out of the hand of CVU. That may be big. And Sika gets Crass too. Back to a 3v3 now. And Knight gets Muda. So now Converse at man disadvantage. One enemy remaining. Sika gets Puffin as well. Onto Arctic here. And Sika gets the fourth. Onto Arctic. Very well played by Sika there. Great uh, headshots and great aim. Very well played. So now it's 5 12. Still Converse 2 at match point. But CMS coaches do have a chance now. They can come back with that momentum change. And they also have uh, Chamber Ult too. Battling hard here. You would expect nothing less. Competitive land here. Converse have Killjoy ult and Omen ult. Very useful for retakes. Wildfire is going to take an aggressive position up mid. Headshot. And catches Risk and gets Sika. But couldn't get out of there and gets picked by Precise. So CMS coach is already down man advantage. You do Knights. die there, but you give a bu get a bunch of information there. Wait, Knight sneaked out. He's wrapping around. <laughs> gets Puffin, but couldn't get Arctic. And Amuda gets Precise. It's now 1v3. Uh -oh. And Anishar versus the world here. Playing to continue the map. Dinks Arctic. Uh, it's going to try and get the plant down. Spike planted. Killjoy ult comes out. It's going to have to force him either this towards the garage. the loneliest place in the world to be right now. Yep. And it's it's all she wrote. Converse 2 are going to take the map 13 to 5. And Crash with the Fuse is going to secure it. Very well played by Converse 2 on their attack side. 
pretty much helped them secure the map in itself. But they also had good retakes on their defender side too, so they played well on both sides. CMS coaches also had pretty good map, uh, pretty good uh, plays as well, but against Converse too, they just fall just because of aim duels and stuff. Absolutely, you see all the red up top of the scoreboard there. So Wildfire uh, leading 21-10, and all the other players that also did pretty well for Converse. It was Sika leading for top frag. Uh, again, played really well, both teams, GG. Uh, any final thoughts about that match? No, I mean, Converse, you know, set the tone early, were very aggressive early on, as you said, played that attack side of the map very well and uh, set the tone for the pace of the map. And, you know, CMS coaches just couldn't catch up there. And uh, But so GG's to both teams, a great match and a uh, good win for Converse. Yeah, great win for Converse too. We'll see you in the next match very soon. So thank you.
Hello and welcome back. My name is Bradley, aka Parzival, and I'm here with. Hello, I am Isabella, aka Isabella, with a U and two H's. <laughs> so, who we got playing today, Bradley? Let's uh, see. Today we have Catawba Valley Red Hawks Red, and we have AK Val. Nice. Okay, so we're going in with uh, Agent Select. Who we got playing today? We got RH Flitz, Priz. Vander, what is it? Vandery. <laughs> Vandery, we got Melbourne, and we got Chroma. Yep. This is gonna uh, be we are good. playing on Split, which was recently oh, nice. in, reintroduced into the map pool. Right, it was. Uh, one of the more re uh, previous, uh, or well, one of the more recent uh, updates. I'm um, excited. But we have Flitz hovering a Dooley. We got Priz hovering Breach Initiator. We have Vandery nice. with Omen Smokes, Melbourne with uh, KJ. Which is Melbourne, one of Melbourne's favorites. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chroma hovering, or well, Chroma actually is locked in with Sky. Okay. And we have Co can't aim with hovering Sky as an initiator. Seagulls can't aim. Seagull can't aim. I love these names. <laughs> okay. Seagull can't <laughs> aim with Astra. Uh, is that just anime, or am I reading that wrong? Anime, anime. Is it? I, I can't pronounce it. Yeah, anime. It. Yeah, I anime. guess. With uh, also a breach, we have Black Adam with a raise wow. and lifting you with a sage. Now, awesome. we do have some similar uh, people. We, they both have breaches and they both have raises. Mm -hmm. uh, Flitz actually went with a raise. I'm surprised. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a Skynix team. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Uh, Let's go. CBCC Red just recently went to the uh, semifinals in the NJCAAE awesome. um, Open Tournament. And Audrey Kell, I haven't seen play much today, but I've heard great things from Audrey Kell. Awesome. We'll see how they play. We got two players in their tags that says can't aim. So yeah. we'll, we'll test out their aim. Let's see exactly. um, if that tag is is um, is real or not. Um, but I'm really excited. Let's get it. Now it looks like uh, we have CBCC Red doing a 3-2 split between A site and B site mm -hmm. right now. Chroma went in for the blind. Looks like we have a push up through mid uh, from Audrey Co. Uh, Co can't aim, can apparently aim with the pistol. Apparently with he the can. classic. Yep. It takes out Van Derry. That omen's gone. Uh, Black Adam had a good oh, raise wow. satchel, but Black Priz Adam was waiting. Prison went in for that frenzy, that frenzy shot. You can never miss. Yep. Uh, Melbourne with a great classic kill against Seagulls can't aim. And anime did plant the spike down on B site for AK Val. It's now a 3v2 situation, but Melbourne is damaged. So we got Karma going in with the, the blind again. Gets uh, taken out by Kokan Aim. Kokan Aim, I don't know why that's the name. Kokan Aim, I guess it's just Last irony. Yeah. Oh, that's KJ's a three down, piece. Melbourne's down. One enemy remaining. Great shot by Flitz. It's a 1v1 situation here. Yep. Flitz is damaged. Wow. Uh, close, close, close great round. Great play, great play. Uh, Audrey Kell going up 1 0 over the CBCC Red Hawks. Okay, now we're observing one of the can. Oh, never mind. They switched back to Black Adam. Um, I was, we were observing briefly uh, one of the can't aim people. <laughs> so um, I will say I was uh, spectating, like flipping dance. around the different yeah. players earlier, and this is so much harder to cast without being able to do that as well. I know, right? Uh, but we have both a grenade and a blind going awesome. down mid, going, going towards straight in, closer to B site. But it looks like AK Val is pushing all onto mm -hmm. A site. They're pushing. Uh, they're going to have a free site here. Priz going in for the orb. Uh, we got Charging Chroma going the, through sewers. Looks Seagull like planting. Spike looks like planted. first uh, contact will be Chroma. Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, Anime is down. They got flips. Wow. Chroma's going to come back mid, and get that. Mid um, stun. Chroma did pick up that bulldog. Priz posted with the shorty. Blind from Chroma. Wow. Seagull can't aim, did take out RH Vandary. He indeed can aim, Bradley. I think they lied to us. Boombot took damage. Wow. Yeah, 
Chris did down. get some uh, damage on Chroma's game. going in. Chromos wow. Chroma takes out Seagull can't aim. Black Adam does take out Moborn. And Chroma with the Bulldog takes out two of them. So it's a 1v1 oh situation. Oh my gosh. But sadly, wow. uh, RH Red could wow. not win that round. But <laughs> Chroma <laughs> is the last one standing there. That was pretty good. Yeah, um, looking at tab, we do see that Chroma is keeping that Bulldog, and we have Vandal, Phantom, Phantom, Vandal for the rest of the team going downwards. Great weapon I did not get up. to see AK Val, yeah. but uh, money for AK Val is plentiful now. Right, exactly. Uh, this last round was a save round for CBCC Redhawks, so it's good to see they're finally picking up some guns. Exactly. Looks like we have another mid push for AK mm -hmm. Val. And we have Melbourne wow. waiting to get first contact. Takes out the sage. sage. Knows where that o or knows where that raises. They're coming after him. He's getting the heal. And they are chasing. They take out Melbourne. And Chroma with the dog saw where at least two of them were. Trace throws grenade. There's the bind. Nice line. Takes out or Arch Flitz takes out Black Adam. Looks like they're both going in. Down, Blind come out from Prez. One enemy remaining. Uh, Prez takes out wow. two of them and ends the round there. Great play by Prez. Mm -hmm. Carried. <laughs> so it's 1v2. Uh, CBC Red Hot trailing to Audrey Kell. It's a pretty close game so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, five kills for Chroma. He is top of the leaderboard. Um, three for Prez, two for Vandery, or for Flitz and Melbourne, and one for Vandery. And it's so quick. <laughs> it stinks because I can't press tab on this side. Yeah, right. I wish we had a POV of every single player so we could, like, look at everybody. Yeah. But well, it looks like we have another three uh, or three to split for defense. And it looks like we're going to have two from AK Val going up mid. And we're going to have three going down garage for B side. And it looks like Bailey Van Derry is going to get first contact, but he is blind. Yep. So yep. Uh, he does get taken out by the Sage. Um, Sage blind gets yeah. taken out by Priz. Melbourne going in flank. Really quiet. Spike Waiting planted. for that plant. It's 3v4. We'll see how they play this out. Great kill by Flitz there. Nice. He has heaven control. There's out that free spot. Last player standing. Does wow. get killed by Seagulls can't aim who had the flank on him. So it's down to Melbourne. It's a 1v3 situation here. And I think Melbourne might just try to get any of them running away going down towards uh, their spawn. I think that might be their plan here. And try to keep their phantom. Yep, that is their plan. Nice little spray. That is a good, that's a like right there on that one. Yep. Oh. Okay, so Melbourne did keep their Phantom, but money is not looking too good for right. CBCC. They are running into a deficit here, um, but they are still able to buy guns and some shields. AK is looking pretty good on money right now. Oh, yeah, AK is They're flowing in the money. Yep. Time out. It looks like we're going to have a hard A push from AK Val here. And we only have a few people looking for CBCC Red because they're kind of doing their split play like they usually do. Uh, Melbourne is on top of boxes, which isn't usually a first check for most people. Uh, it does get some damage out. on lifting you, but they do just heal themselves back up. Yep. Uh, we do have a rush onto A, and nobody from the Red Hawks is on A site yet. They are all currently moving, so they're basically getting the A site for free. That's Lifting right. you with another kill on Chroma. KO can't aim, is planting. All on site, waiting to see what these three other players are gonna gonna do. Now we have Vandari and uh, Flitz both in heaven, and we do have. Anime's ready for that blind for that stun. 
We do have three that's coming up for that. Three satcheling in, pushing. Oh, and ultimate. That Astra like utility there got him. Hurricane aim does take out two of them. 1v5, are we going to see an ace here? Uh oh, let's hope. We're going to see an ace. Oh, uh, sadly, uh, Priz did miss their shots. But Seagull can aim, yeah. can aim. He just took they out They their tag. It's <laughs> deceiving. They're lying to us. Uh, it's 4-1. Uh, Audrey Kell, Val in the lead. Um, we co can aim 6-3-3. Three, and three, Wow. Lifting you 4-4-1. Four, four, and one. Anime with 3-3-6. Three, three, Seagulls can't aim 333 three, three, and Black Adam 321. Uh, we do have some ults ready for lifting you, so she can res any of her down teammates, right. which is one of the more powerful uh, powerful ults in the game. It really is. Oh, that was a nice sheriff kill from Bandari Beautiful. there. Uh, anime does take out Priz, and we do have Chroma going up ropes down towards mid, but it looks like all of AK Astra's Val ahead. is. It looks like all of AK Val is going to do right. a hard beat push through garage. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, we do have Vandari on the scene with the chair. He is also one point away from um, having his ult. Which can also ultimately change um, the way this plays out. Spike planted. They go in for the plant. Successful. It's now three. Chroma oh, is one HP and he, yeah. they are taken out. Uh, wow, and that's five one. It was a close, close shots there from Melbourne, but sadly none of them could connect. So it is uh, one to be five or one uh, to five now. Audrey Kell, Val still in the lead here. Going into the seventh round, let's see how this plays out. We're hoping that some of these ultimates come out. Mm -hmm. Um. From both teams, right? Yeah. So, let's get ready for that. At this point, both teams are stacked when it comes to weapons, <laughs> right? Oh, we had the blind come in from Chroma, and uh, AK Val is going to take it right back and return that favor. I think Chroma did also blind again. <laughs> uh, oh, Chroma takes damage. Action. Black Enter does take out Vandari. Wow. The spike still has not been planted. They've got one minute and 13 seconds left. <laughs> Anime coming in. Takes out Chroma. My born chilling out ropes. Watching out for any, any people that might be coming in through there. And they go in for that plant. A uh, 2v5 situation here. Uh, Sage was about to put down the Sage yep. wall. If I think they, okay. they reconsidered. Yeah. They're going to get that tactical advantage for That's them instead wall. of stopping. I, I find Sage walls so interesting. Like, mm -hmm. if you really know how to place them, you can get some really good angles, some really good shots. Um, some shots that other players are really not expecting. Yes, exactly. Um, it is still a 4v2. Uh, Spike is starting to detonate. Um, so we One shall see. Oh, Black Adam oh, does take out RH Clips. I'm not sure. It looks like Melbourne does take out Seagull Can't Aim, but does wow. get taken out by lifting you. I wasn't quite sure if they were going to try to push or just try to save, save their gun that round. Mm -hmm. But the economy for Red Hawk Red is not looking as good as it could be right now. Right. But Audrey Kell is swimming in their money. They're swimming in the credits. They look like they just robbed They're a bank drowning. with how much, yep. <laughs> how much money they I'm gonna have. I'm going to join that, man. Yeah. I need some money. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have another hard A push. Looks like it. I don't think they like B that much. Yeah, we have Looks like Melbourne's posted. Melbourne. Yep. Both of them are posted, just waiting for... Them to come in. I think it's like they need. So you can't aim. Gets that. Gets that shot. Flitz does take out lifting you, but is remaining. taken out by Co can't aim or Ko can't aim. I did um, not realize that it was one v four now. Yeah. yeah, it's a one v four. Wow. Uh, Seagulls can't aim. Does take out Rh Bandari with that collateral shot through the wall there. Uh, Seagulls can't aim. Yeah, it's a great place. 
by everybody. Good try, good try yeah. from from Bandery. Yeah, Audrey Kale is doing a very good job of positioning themselves and right. spreading themselves really? out to where they're them. covering the maximum ground without being right. spread too thin. Um, exactly. Although I can't hear their comms or anything, but I can just feel their synergy right. just watching them play right, right now. So we can see three from CBCC on B, A. Um, we've got two other players. Um, let's see what what they're going to do next. We do have another hard B push coming out of Garage. But Melbourne Sage did play, is play major down, damage from that. Yeah, Melbourne did take some damage, or did put down some damage on Audrey Kell by placing their uh, their grenades there. Pretty sure they're grenades, bombs, lane mines. Yeah, I'm yeah. not quite sure what they are, <laughs> but the KJ special, I like to say. Now uh, it looks like they are retreating and going back towards A site, or they might be hiding there or hiding back in their spawn until B site's clear. Uh, looks like we do have uh, their rays or Audrey Kell's rays going through mid but everybody else is going around the side, right. going towards A. We'll see how that fight goes. Looks like Priz is ready for that turn. We do have the Astro ult coming out. Right. And that is going to split. Or, uh, who's, who's um, Sky's ult just came out? Uh, Sky's ult just came out. Yeah, that's uh, Chroma. Gotcha, gotcha, Chroma. Little cabbages, seeking cabbages. Uh, it is a 5v4 right now, uh, Catawba Valley. Uh, KJ ult also came here. out. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, Melbourne KJ ult came out. Zero Did not players catch anybody. Detained. Yep. Got 13 seconds to plant. Uh, Black Adam takes out Flitz, but Flitz did left. also take out Seagulls Can't Aim with, I believe that's their ult. Black Adam did take out Chroma. Uh, they have three seconds to plant, wow. but they did get the plant down. Successful plant. So it's a 3v3 right now. Uh, Anime did take out Melbourne. And the plant is in the wide open. It's going to be a bit tougher for CBCC Redhawks to defuse that without getting everybody killed on the Audrey Kell side. Right. We're 3v2. All players are in pretty good health right now. No yeah, that severe guy's, damage is being taken. Yeah, so. that guy's super helpful with yep. trying to maintain team exactly. health. Exactly. Uh, Priz is going to be the first to make contact, but mm -hmm. we do have Vandari coming up, throwing up the smoke. And Priz does get Black Adam with the nice clap oh, out. Uh, Vandari is defusing. Coke can't aim, takes out Priz. Bandari is going to get taken out by nice. Anime while trying to flee. But everybody does die that round. Pretty good play. So Anime really does play. die from that. Okay, it's 1 8 right now. Audrey Kell. Val is in the lead. Um. Yeah, what's your uh, impressions on this so far? Honestly, I think both teams are fighting really hard. Um, like you said previously, um, Audrey Kell is really aware of their space. Um, they are taking over the site. Um, I think CBCC is doing a great job also, but ultimately it's just um, a matter of game sense, what they're doing, uh, what kind of plays they're making. Um, exactly. Yeah, what about you? Yeah. Um, Audrey Kale is just moving on the site super fast yeah. and being able to set up. And uh, I don't think Top Valley is able to uh, react to that as quickly as they would hope. Uh, it is a 3v4 situation now. And Anime looks like he might have another. Never mind. They're all kind of retreating back towards mid. Uh, Spike is not planted yet, so I'm not quite sure minute. what the One minute. plan is. Chroma is going to oh. get contact with Lifting You, but Priz is going to take out Cocaine Aim with the Sage Bulldog. Sage throws that slow after being confronted by... Spike planted. Uh, another player. Chroma uh, goes in for that blind. Yeah, it's a 2v3 situation. Takes damage from that grenade. 67 health, wow. Priz does take out Anime, the other three. Chroma just has a classic right now, but is getting wow. some damage on to Black Adam. Hopefully Priz like can both are really low. Uh, Black wow. Adam does take out Chroma, but Black Priz Adam goes in with the yeah. shorty. Priz does Gosh. take out Black Adam with the uh, Bulldog. Um, 11 health in the dream here. Wow. And lifting you, their Sage is, is 50 half shield it? and 100 health. Oh, and does take out nice with the Sheriff shot. Very nice shot by Sage. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Lifting you is lifting up the team. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen a timeout yet from right. either team. Yeah. Uh, Looks like lifting you is opping. Really? Oh, wow. Yep, yeah. they bought up. I can see they're probably going to plant their wall somewhere. Uh, right. Somewhere and then just go ahead and exactly. use Exactly. Seeing those, mm -hmm. those amazing wall placements, um, getting those funky angles um, that ultimately get you a bunch of great shots. Now, Are you an opper? Like no, <laughs> I do not have that steady of a hand. Um, it looks like uh, looking at you is going to be on B site all by themselves. I think it might have been a fake B push because everybody else is kind of waiting yep. on A there. I don't think Top Valley bought it yet, though. I do see. I don't think so. They're uh, pretty spread out, right? Yeah, it does look like uh, Priz is going towards mid just in case. This isn't the case. And, yeah, he moves back in. Um, he does get shot down after being hit with absolutely every ability in the game. Blinded by Chroma. Uh, that C ability coming out. Yep. Gonna create space for the Audrey Kell team. Looks like anime is being confronted by three players. Uh, I think it's taken out by Priz. And Ko can't aim or Ko can't aim. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Spike Just take out Chroma. And it's now a 3v3 situation. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Uh, Black Adam takes out Priz. It looks like we're just like looking through like cameras. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It Cypher looks, isn't playing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Cypher's <laughs> not in play yet. Well, we His cameras are in place. Last player standing. Uh, Co can like aim flits. takes out RH Flitz, and Seagull can't aim takes out Melbourne. That's uh, it's one. It's the round. Ten. One. Last ten. round before the switch. There we go. Okay, we're back to player views. Awesome. Now, uh, Audrey Kell is doing a fantastic job on attack here. Uh, I'm just curious about how they're going to play on defense. Right. I'm really excited because, mm -hmm. honestly, there's always a chance for CBCC to come up. Yes. There's always a chance. There's always room for them on this um, right attacking side. It's attacking side, right? Uh, Are well they attacking? Uh, Audrey Kell is attacking right now, so they okay. will be attacking uh, um, next round. Uh, Arch Vandery with a Marshall kill on lifting you. Wow. First blood. He's running from that dog. Yep. That dog's running. <laughs> uh, we do have Vandary to his TP. It's a 5v4 situation. Looks like that. Um, With almost everybody in heaven for the RH. Right. right there. Uh, anime takes out Flitz, Chris takes out Anime, Cocaine Aim takes out Chris and Melbourne. Wow. And Chroma takes out Cocaine Aim. Uh, people are falling left and right. Black Adam takes wow. out Vandari and Chroma with a nice double kill there. Audrey Kell is just wiping out right now. Uh, we do switch sides here. So right, okay, this yep. is the time for CCC to possibly <laughs> exactly. come up. Exactly. Uh, we've got two more rounds until um, Audrey Kell possibly wins. So. Let's see if um, CBCC's, attack this is attacking, yep. uh -huh. <laughs> if their attacking side um, comes up and they, I guess, just make a complete transformation in this game. Mm -hmm. This can go one of two ways. You know Bradley. Yes. You know. <laughs> they can either win or they can lose. Exactly. <laughs> There's no ties in Valorant, folks. Nope. We do have Black Adam looking very... Uh, they're ready eager to, to, to throw that start, grenade. Yeah. grenade. Very eager to throw that grenade. Sadly, they aren't going to find anybody through garage. Looks like we do have a, a push. They're going to split between Heaven and Main. Frizz Chris is going to take out Cocaine Aim yep. with the Frenzy. That's a beautiful Frenzy skin, by the way. Mm -hmm. The glitch pop. Uh, Frizz is planting. RH Flitz takes out Anime. And it's 5v2. We do have some damage on Melbourne and Chroma. But oh, Melbourne does remaining. fall to Black Adam, but Arch Flitz takes out Lifting You with the nice three piece, and Black Adam takes out Flitz. Looks like it's 3v1. CVCC yeah. with the three players left. And Priz Grenade. thinks that they know where they are. Thinks, yeah, thinks they know where they are. Uh, does a little satchel jump, Black Adam does. Trying to get away. Black Adam's going for it. Yep. Does get killed Very by nice Priz. So it's 2 11. CVCC won their first attacking round. Uh, they will have money to buy up this round. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Audrey Kell will have to uh, try to have a safe round 
Black yeah. Adam is 18 and 6. 18 and 6. Wow. Dang. There's hope. There's hope for CBCC to, yeah, there's always to hope. come up. That does look like Audrey Kell is stacking on A. Right. And CBCC is kind of waiting to make a play here. I'm wondering if they're waiting to see if Audrey Kell pushes up or if they're just waiting to see which side that they're favoring. Uh, CBCC is going up the middle now, and they're going towards B through Heaven. Oh. It looks like we got everybody's mid. Wow. Cocaine aim does take Mighty out Melbourne with 30 health. Yeah. But heals up Black Adam. Yep. Great teammate. Uh, Priz takes out Anime. Seagulls can't aim. Takes out Priz, and Art Splits takes out Lich and you. Um, so it is three on three right now. Black Adam takes some shots and is again healed by Co can't aim. Uh, Flitz here watching him come down. Off. Uh, Chroma wow. gets a nice kill on Co can't aim, and Daydary gets Black Adam. The Seagulls can't aim, takes out Chroma, but Flitz just you know wipes up. Listen, man, 311. 311. Okay, it's the second round of, of their side of their. Um, yeah. I can like. There's hope. <laughs> okay. The only thing they that's kind of worrying up. now is that Audrey Kell has enough money enough uh, right. to go ahead and buy, or at least half buy. That's right. We are back to the cameras. Yeah, okay, so we see that their omen okay. now has a uh, guardian. And it looks like their sky is taking with a frenzy. What Never is mind, your, that's our usual, side. So your usual buy yeah. the first couple rounds? The first, let's say, three rounds. Uh, usually, I'll try to either stick with classic and shields and utility. Mm -hmm. um, might go ghost, um, and then if we lose, I'll kind of stick with ghost and yeah. then go with vandal after that. My go-to is ghost too. I love ghost. I love mm -hmm. being a good ghost. Uh, we do have. It looks like CVCC is debating on either going up the middle or going hard push through P. It looks like they're going to split the difference here, and they shall meet Sage in the middle, and I think the other two might not meet anybody for a hot minute. All right, she puts Sage up lifting you, but she does put down the Sage wall. Or they put down the Sage wall. Astra's smokes are going everywhere, um, but specifically being p placed um, exactly where certain players are. Mm -hmm. Somehow they know. Coquant aim is on site. Uh, they did a little jump peek and they hit yep. C two uh, Red Hawk players. I'm not sure if it's on anymore. But I know they saw at least two. Cooking Aim does take out Mubborn. Wow. Black Adam takes out Vandary. Cooking Aim takes out Chroma. Priz is going to take out Cooking Aim. And Black Adam takes out Priz. Ugh, it is all left. down the flits here. Okay, uh, wow. Anime does take out flits, and it's now 3 to 12. One more round win for match Audrey Kell, and they will win the match. Match point, man. Match mm -hmm. point. Black Adam still 20 and 7. That's crazy. And Priz is at the top of the leaderboard for Red Hawks uh, with 14, 13, and 1. Let's see oh. what they're going to do. We're getting some camera action here. Mm hmm. Um, okay, Flitz is going to take out his ult and try Straight to get somebody. Straight in. Doesn't Does get a kill. Uh, he's going to toss in a grenade, trying to get somebody out of heaven. Uh, anime takes out. I didn't see who Anime took out, but Melbourne did take out Anime. The Seagull right. can't aim. is shooting through box. See if he can get anybody. Looks like everybody moved out from there. Co can't uh, aim takes out Melbourne. Chroma takes out Co can't aim. Oh, my gosh. It's going down. Uh, Vandari takes out Lifting You with the most recent kill, and it's now two on three, but Vandari is getting slowly healed by Chroma here. Seagull can't aim. And it's He's down to Seagull can't back. aim, so we shall see wow. if their gamer tag holds true. And Vandari wow. does get the look first, and is going to get the round win for Red Hawks. It's 4 12, 4 12. Match point, man. Yeah. Match point. Anything match could point. happen here, okay? I should play some astral stars in this reality. 
I'm a little stressed. I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Let's see what's gonna happen. Astro's ready. Sequel can't aim is ready to put down those smokes. Looks like we might have a A and mid push coming here, a little split push here. Uh, Flitz is gonna satchel jump into uh, heaven, it looks like, and doesn't spot anybody. Flash out. He's really close to anime. Um, is gonna flash twice. And wow. is gonna get flashed themselves, but gonna wow. throw out that C ability and get taken out by Priz. Uh, Vandari takes that licking deal. Black good. Adam gets both Vandari and Melbourne with a grenade. Seagull can't aim, takes out Priz, and Chroma is gonna take out Black Adam. 2v2. Spike hasn't been planted. Looks like they're rotating. Gonna plant A. Uh, it's a free site here. Yep. So hopefully they take advantage, and they do. And it looks like Flitz is gonna encounter. Maybe there's Sky. I don't think he's gonna encounter both of them. Goes in for that blind. Uh, Flitz is just kind of buying time here and trying to get back to Chroma on site. It looks Blinded. like. Um, looks like um, Archery kills Sky. Bolted, Good kill. Good. Wow. Two kills there from wow. Flitz. He knew Flitz right where just, he had to place himself to get those. Flitz kills. just went crazy, man. <laughs> Five, twelve. I repeat, anything can happen here. <laughs> anything can happen. We saw. I don't know if you saw NC State versus um, was it Converse? Converse. Uh, they com came out. Think, they came yeah. up. Like they were losing <laughs> terribly, and they wiped out a second half. And it was a crazy game. Yes. It very so we can was. see the same thing happen here. Uh, Chroma coming with the blind. I don't think that they blinded anybody. But we do have an Astra ability coming out. Trying to pull anybody into it. Nothing. But the Red Hawks are playing back. We got two going up the middle. Uh, two on A site. Kind of going back towards mid. And we do have uh, Bailey on B site. About looking like they might go into the garage. Here. Looks like CVCC Sky is oh. um, planting B. Are they planting B? They're just kind of chilling on B. Yeah. Uh, that was a good kill by Lifting You. Um, Chris uh, wow. is also going to die by Lifting You, but Vandari is going to get our Sage. Uh, 3v4 right now. Vandari uh, moving. Flitz is on site waiting. Flitz is ready for Black Adam to pop out of there. Little do they know. Uh, wow. Good kill by Flitz there. Spike down a. Uh, and uh, wow. Audrey Kell does win. take the win there. 13-5. Uh, now, 5-13. Uh, we have Black Adam up top for Audrey Kell. 22-10-8. Do you have RH Flitz on top for Red Hawks Red? Uh, it's going to be 17, 15, and 5 coming out for Flitz. Um, it was a very good game by both teams. I do think Audrey Kell might have just played a little bit more, yeah. or with a little bit more synergy. And uh, they were able to showcase their abilities a little bit more, and they kind of just worked together better. Yeah, I think. they played really good. Yeah. I, I always had a hope for CBCC. They played great, but ultimately 5-13, five, five mm -hmm. it is what it is. They fought well. They played great, um, but ultimately, Audrey Kell did win. They yeah. did take the W. <laughs> well, GG's to everybody that played, and we are going to send it off to intermission. Intermission.
Yeah, it's only on timeout and at the end. But right now we just commentate on it, right? Yep. Are we ready? All right. Oh, okay. great. Let's go. So, uh, right now. Let's see. We got um, uh, Artie Kell. Hmm? Artie Kell versus who? Uh, I think it's Arden Kell. Or, uh, Artie Kell. You can Arden. say it like that, I guess. Right? AK. I guess it's acceptable. Let's just call it AK for short. AK. And then we got NCU. NC, NC, no, NC State, right? Yeah, NC. Yeah. North Carolina State University. Yeah. Um, lifting you, KO can't swim, Black Adam anime, Seagull can't aim. Um, all players from last game uh, <laughs> where they ended 5 13. That's insane. Against yeah. CVCC, which is very unfortunate. Um, but they're up against NC State, so we'll see how this game goes. And then on the other team, we got Haji, Zellaron. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Booby, <laughs> Smurda, <laughs> <laughs> Blaze Tap, and probably uh, I can't see because there's something blocking away, but oh, Swiss. Right. There you go. All right. So we got Lifting You. I remember Lifting You was playing um, Senti. She, they were playing Sage last game, and now they're playing Duelist as Jet. I'm mm. excited to see them play because they were playing really good last game. Yeah, they, they really popped off. Um, all players are different this game. They're playing different um, different players. So let's see how this turns out. It's Audrey. Or Audrey Kill. There you go. Audrey Kill. <laughs> Audrey Kill. Okay, well, seems like they're spread out evenly. They're both getting yeah, into most players bought their pros. lineups. See them passing around the spike right now. Nobody, nobody wants, wants to take to. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it. nobody wants to take it. I don't like taking spike. <laughs> that I'll only play with Gecko whenever I have to do spike. I, yeah. I don't like to rush in with Yeah, because Wingman plans for you, and you don't have to worry about that unless they shoot him down. Yeah. So it looks like Guess we're going. So you gotta We've got good, two good A, amount. two mid, and one B. They seem to be, they're about to start pushing in. You got one peeker. We'll see how that plays off. So it's on the clear. Yeah. It's on the clear for them. So yeah, they push on in. With they the got with the sheriff going in. That viper wall could be going up any minute now. Shooting that box. Sova goes in with that scan. See if anybody's no on site. Okay, so they got Blaze that tap viper. Blaze Seagull can't aim with that ghost. Reloads to go back in. Spike is They're planted. holding that pretty sight. Wow. So it throws in that shock dart. Ooh. KO can't, so there's a lot of can't trading aim. going on. Gets three kills. Blaze tap Haji. Booby okay. shooter. <laughs> I don't Sorry. know which. It's <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Wow. Okay, 2v1. Whoa. Wow. Great play. Wow. Yeah, you can Audrey hear him in the back going crazy. Audrey Kell takes that first win, diffusing the spike. Wow, That's really close from what a clutch. 10 Looks seconds. Like an and he got it, uh, an ace. KO can't aim, got an ace. Okay, wow. so not bad for their first defending. First round, we already have an ace. Yeah. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's what we want sometimes, you know. That's Can't aim, huh? Oh, oof, they're already yep. going off. I agree, man. Toxicity. I Toxicity agree. to its fine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kidding. So but, yeah, no, they're, aim. they have a good... I guess they have a good setup. At first, you know, I doubted their position there a little bit just because it was only right. one person defending. But they rotated pretty well onto attacker's side. Yeah, they did pretty good. KO throws that utility in, does not suppress yeah. anybody. Looks like Blaze Tap and. Like they're about to um, come into it. Blinded. Wow. Ooh, wow. Tap. That blaze tap. Blaze tap. Is that Blaze Tap doing its hey, work? Blaze Tap got, got those one taps. <laughs> he got those All one right. taps for sure. Let's go Zelaron. Zelaron comes Ooh. in contact Ooh. with Co can't aim. And Co can't aim. He can't aim. Got a bulldog he against the sheriff. The sheriff wow. gets it. Swizz gets that kill. Seems like sheriff they do really have bomb. Right They're trying to go for A. You got Viper trying to clear out from the. 
entrance Fight there. Fight is being planted by Swiss. Haji is 34 health, and we've got no healer out here. It's anybody's game. Okay, so Four only B2. one person watching the stairway. You got the other one above watching through that entrance. Then you got the backside as well. Swiss goes oh, in for you that You got a drone. recon. Might highlight him. Oh. Wow. Oh. Get that Time one tap or no? To that. Mm. Wow. Yeah, no, that molly's. That molly that will get molly. you if you stay there yep. for at least one second. Haji, 34 health still. So they're defusing. They're, they're capping. Using that classic. Looks like they're going to be able to half it. Or not. No way. Wow. No way. Beautiful thrifty. <laughs> Beautiful thrifty by Haji. Dude, that was crazy. What just happened? One okay, so one. now we're one on I mean, one. One. one and one. Yeah. Not one v one. Looks like Astra from NC State has got Spike. See if they get a chance to plant after placing those smokes. If you see, uh, attackers are trying to gain in from the middle, covering their. Probably for their flankers. Yep. Yeah. That's. Let's see how they hold pretty well. You got somebody on Haven, if that's really what it is. But you got somebody watching right there. Gets wow. one. Astra gets the other one on the doors. Shot. Two down from Audrey Kell's team. Spike still right, has so not. You got been a planted. recon and a uh, flash from KJ. Or, yeah. Blaze tap rushes in. Wow, how did he get that kill through smoke? Killing Seagull can't aim. All right, so we're planning pretty out in the open. Right. But it gives him a good. <coughs> Haji again good throws in that util. Does not suppress anybody. Co can't aim coming in through hell. Uh oh. Anime also rushing so in. We're going through the split. Flash in. in. Wow, beautiful. Mm, and a flawless. Goes. We're doing great. I think that was a headshot, too. Yeah, that was a headshot. Beautiful. One and two. Pretty good game so far, right? Yep. Both teams are doing pretty good. Yeah, and they've all... You know, and the, also the, their economy is still pretty up right. high because they haven't lost that many people in this past couple rounds. And I know we're only at the beginning, but... That's a pretty good start of the of the game. You know, you got to be able to keep up the... Right, you have to be really wise with your buys yeah. um, towards the first couple rounds. Yeah, and not just that, but, like, you know, a lot of people may think, like, oh, our weapons are mainly, like, the main reason for the economy. But, like, it's also, like, yeah. on your character's speci like, special abilities. Yeah. If, if you don't have the molly that you need because of your economy, like, that's... Yeah, yeah. That's you a big part it. of the yeah. game for sure. I think Audrey oh, Kell's going. jet is oh. opping. They've got op and shorty. See if they get any any shots with that op. It's only the fourth round and they've got op already. Seems like they're they rotated off to A. We got yeah, we got somebody on back site behind the behind the bomb site. Harbor is watching in. It's holding it down pretty well. Waiting. They're pushing in. All in. right. Wow. Yeah, there's wow. plenty of action going on. Damage from that. Yeah. Let's Chaos see how they handle that. On site. They're spread out evenly. You got two on site. We got one on the ramps and one watching for flanks wow. on the uh, attacker side. It seems like they're rotating. I'm not sure why. I, oh, I think they might be flanking here. Oh, wow. What a turn of events. Okay, wow. I see you. So Audrey, Audrey Kell is already pushing in. They have, they're holding down site. They might be able to defuse here. Oh, got, they got to be more Zellerad careful with 44 that. 44 health. Ooh. Walking through. There wow, they're taking out. Yeah. 2v3. 
2v2. Wow. Right. Crazy play within a matter of seconds. Good Audrey turn out of takes events. that. Oh, wow. Yeah, they weren't able to, oh, wow. they weren't they able to detonate. Yeah, they, they weren't able to defuse Gosh. that. Gosh, so and Black Adam takes that death without they, being able to ex escape. Yeah, they definitely could have had that if they had defused. But I will say props to their team teamwork efforts there. I think it was it went pretty well in terms of like getting in there right. all together as a team. You can you can see it in the way they played that mm -hmm. is all together at the same time. They each you didn't see them clumped up. You saw yeah. them spread as soon there as they walked into sight right. they they claimed that's, their positions. That's what I've noticed a lot about Audrey Kell. They are really aware of their space and take over the entire site without being clumped up, like you said. They're really aware of how they should Here. be placed um, when it comes to being on the map. Bless you. <laughs> Blaze tap goes in for that dash. Straight. Wow. Kills Kokan aim after rushing directly on site. So you got Blaze tap and you got Swift. Going Swiss in. Planting. Planted successfully. We got the flankers. We got two Blaze flankers. Tap is now we got one on the going defender crazy. side. Wow. And that was a flawless one. Yeah. That was Blaze pretty good. Blaze on six pretty good. health. NC State is. Yeah, they're, is they're killing through up, it. Honestly. But hey, can't judge too soon just no, yet. No, you cannot. That's true. Um, you know, there's things like the three to nine curse in this game. Right. Anything exactly. could happen literally in this game. So let's keep an eye out for that. And I will say one of the best things that I love about these teams going head to head is literally they're like evenly matched in terms of positioning. Right. I mean, literally it comes down to who gets, who claims the site first. Exactly. And getting the win. Um, unfortunately, you know, Aud Audrey Kell didn't get to defuse the bomb, but they literally took down the whole team and right. defended that site. So let's see how they do pushing into B here. You got recon through that hallway. He's planting. And they got a plant. Blaze they got somebody. Defending. He's just watching out for his team. So they should honestly watch that. Split's door is really the main area that you try not to push if you're defending, which is what's right. going on right now. But you will be in such an intense spot. As you can see, yeah, you, there's an wow. intense game going on. You have to defend, but you can't push. How do you do that? You just got to trust your gut and go for it. You know, there's a lot of abilities being used right now. You got one kill from outside. Swiss to Black wow. Adam. Cocaine there's a trade there fusing. going on. Three. This three kills defusing. and the fusing. Is he going to stake it? At least half it. Wow. There Beautiful kill from Cocaine Aim. Takes down Yeah, that's a pretty Astra. good, I pretty good not, defend. I will not say Astra's name because I will die laughing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say Astra's name because I'll die laughing. That's hilarious. So, so two, two four, four. <laughs> like you said, <laughs> what'd you say? No, I, we said the same thing pretty much. Oh, yeah, two <laughs> before, um, like you said, it's it's anybody's game at this point. You can't judge too early. Anything can happen. Yeah. Um, Audrey Kell took that last round. So we'll see what goes next. I love we how got, we have Coca-Cola here. We yeah, got so Coca-Cola? Yeah, I'm craving Coca-Cola now just because of that, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a Coca-Cola right above there, you wow. know. Wow, so, sponsored know, by Coca-Cola? Yeah, so if you ever want a Coca-Cola, just... Awesome, I'll get Coca-Cola. Let me... I love Coca-Cola. Let me see if I can uh, imitate the sound. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, so if you ever want a Coca-Cola, oh, make KJ, sure to stay refreshed. KJ's ult comes out. How many players... Zero players detained, unfortunately. Blaze Tap is going Spine for that down. ult with B. one yeah. knife left. He can get Watch it. He can get it. it. Ooh. Wow. All right. Miss events. We got smoked area. Let's go to you, unfortunately, did not survive wow. that fight. They are really taking in defending. I think they found their groove as they go in through the split stores. That wall Last is pretty good, wow. actually. You know, it's, it's taken off the wow. back hallway. But MC. it leaves some space to them to take over as they push in. Unfortunately, they didn't get that win, but 
they, this they, is good they play did really there. well. They did really well. So NCSU took that last round. Um, really well played. Everybody's uh, stacked up. It looks like Black Adam is sticking with Classic. Are they buying? Anime yeah, sticking with Sheriff. Same. He's probably. Um, well, since they they didn't. So, yeah. So if they didn't win that game, they save. Just to be so ready for yeah, the next one. Yeah, just to be ready for the next one. Because if, if you try to go up, it, it'll mess up your whole economy system. Because then you'll never be able to force up. Yeah, it looks like the other team is stacked up, though. All right, so. Looking at their weapons. Trying they, to push it onto A, but that vapor. That vapor. <laughs> 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 that vapor wall. <laughs> vapor. <laughs> that wall is uh, holding them off pretty well. It seems like they're now deciding to change plans, change their course. Um, their, their defending is pretty evenly out, but, mm -hmm. I mean, they're. We'll see how it plays yeah, out. It seems like, like AJ and Jet anybody's up for grabs. If they play like, if they play this right, they could get an ace or something. If not, wow, that's I never seen players be so close together. That's They're unless you have face, unless you have that much of a confidence. Right. I am really not sure that you can. Oh wow! Try that. Oh wow! Ooh. With the yeah, no, that was the, is that Bucky? Yeah, that was a Bucky right With there. With the Bucky man. All right, they got plant on site. Terrible. And Spike successfully planted. Wow, it. Blaze Tap taking two kills. Dashes out of there. Reloads their shorty. Places a smoke to protect themselves. Um, All right, so they've got two more back. behind there. Yeah, they're on backside. They're they're playing this really safe. That's it for them. Wow. Lift and you takes out Blaze Tap. Yeah, I don't forget. Swiss takes out Lift and you. Good trade. So now it's 1v2. Alright, 2v1, 1v2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spike is not being diffused. They've so got no well. time to run out of them. That's man. a good push for uh, NCSU as they take on the attacking. Now we'll see how they do on this round. Really good round. Seems like they actually, yep, that's what I was going to say. They're actually being able to use their weapons and uh one pumped one yes. pumped that's one true man pumped. <laughs> that was tragic man i hate i'd hate to be killed with a shorty or a bucky or a judge Dude, you know what i just that just you know what bad. i just i hate that bucky is a good weapon it, it is, is it, it truly is, is. but it only works when somebody is playing it against you but exactly. never when you're playing it against somebody else yeah it Let's just see hurts how to take the soul, on this. Man. Ooh, 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 oh ooh. wow! Shot through wall. Took six. He's they're on sixteen health. Yeah. So the thing about shooting through doors or walls is that it's never really super accurate because you're not right. really. It's not about like as much as you want to guess correctly where they're at. Beautiful shot. The, Beautiful shot. If I heard correctly, you know we. I was talking about this with somebody else on the team is that when you shoot through stuff, your bullets actually go through lower. So if wow. you shoot oh, okay. if you shoot at your eye level, it'll go lower. Wow. Coconut aim takes it. See how they're doing. We're still doing 4v4. We're Spike has not been planted. They have 40 seconds. Defender rotating. Blazem goes in once again. They love to rush and unfortunately get taken That's down by Black standing. Adam. Wow, two v one within seconds. They're both Asha rotating planting. in, pushing in. My ult's ready. We Watch got that swamp Viper grade. at the splits, and we got Harbor at the hell. Let's see if they take this push. Wow, Gets beautiful, one. beautiful. Wow, right, that was that such was, a close round. Yeah, that was Co a good trade there. One for one. They got that and headshot, which proves that's the fuse. once again, man, that they can not aim. They're liars out here. Yeah. They can't aim. So yeah, they're three to six now. Let's see if they can take another defense. KO's going in with the uh, uh, Phantom the Classic. Seems Caught like they're ready to. 
play their game here. Seems like they want to be able to bait. I'm assuming is what the plan here is. Someone on Audrey Ooh, Cal they destroyed the knife, so they know there's somebody there, but has got judge. Might be a flank because two they're not people pushing. have judge. Two people have judge. Two, pe two people have judge. Oh All my right. gosh. We'll see how this plays out. I'm nervous. Out. Either they get tapped or they pump. Ooh. Sky throws out that dog. That dog is shut down, unfortunately. Let's get see. Out SU of my is way. trying to rotate over through. Can't decide yet if they want to push in. They're taking it slow and steady. That's pretty safe. You know, better safe than sorry if you want to go for the win. You have one minute on your clock. There you wow. go. That's good. Pretty much defending for it. Place have ulting once again. Places smoke. They've got four knives left. Let's see if they come into contact with Black Adam. They were so close. Well, looks like they're coming in contact with Anime. There you Beautiful go. kill by Blaze Tap. Headshot. Takes out Anime. Going in through Astra Smoke. Left. Ooh. Wow. Swiss takes that kill from from Jet. Places that smoke. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. that right judge. There with the judge. I told you. The judge you was gotta not see how successful. It plays out. And that was with a stinger. Wow. The judge was not successful. I was really, <laughs> I was really hoping. You know what? That's one of the funniest and most lovely things about the stinger is the stinger might it stings, be, man. you know, it, it might be underrated in some ways just because of its aim, its uh, spread, its speed rate, yeah. you know, versus its accuracy. It's right. just not, it's not there. But if you know how to play it right, you'll be able to get some. And that's what happened here with the judge. Did not expect a rapid fire turn of events against the the judge. Was it judge? Still yeah, the judge. Can't aim. Hashtag what? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Oh, they're really trying to diss each other. Oh, I guess that's the slightly sportsmanship <laughs> of Valorant, as you may say. Astra places those beautiful smokes. We got some people on back site. Some people are watching site. KJ placing those seems grenades. like seems like we got a couple trying to push in from yeah, both two sides. Out there. Looks like their jet is so is ulting. As they're doing that, oh Viper wow, Wall is up. You ulted. Gets that a might be the perfect time for them to push in. Oh, but that Astro Wall pushed them back. That's what's afraid. They're afraid of. Jumping in. Lifted you still has a couple oh, goodness. knives left. One enemy remaining. Ooh, wow. There you go. Shut they down. Shot Scan. Down. So they know where Harbor is at. And that's the last Beautiful. person. And shut down. Yep. Beautiful. Astra gets that kill. Three last and eight. In the half. NCSU the taking the, the win so far, man. Yeah. That's. Like you said, we're, we're talking about two teams that are pretty high up in the scale of things. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I was um, with one of the staff here that is uh, kind of in charge of the um, broadcasting systems here. Yeah. He was telling me that NCSU almost made it into the Red Bull Clutch right. Challenge. Right, he did mention that. And that they were, they came in second place, but if they would have won that, they would have actually gone to Brazil and played That's not crazy. BCT and not Challengers, but their own kind of version, kind of slightly under the scale of uh, BCT Challengers. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty big deal. If, if even if you have to travel all the way, that's pretty up there, especially with Red Bull under right. under their wing. Um, because you know Red Bull gives you wings. Red Bull gives <laughs> you wings, and they can fly straight to Brazil, man. <laughs> they can. So Heck yes, yeah. that was a uh, pretty big deal for right. NCSU. So and they're really stepping it up, like they're proving themselves right now. Yeah, they they they're are taking good. it for the win this time. I believe it. Lifted um, use flanking, but looks like, using the sheriff. Audrey Kell is still hanging on, I will say. They're not going to give out without a fight, so they will take the fan. Oh. That was, if you, as you oh. saw, KJ Anime was uh, jump peeking. Wow, well, yeah. Anime takes Blaze Tough out with the yep. judge. Seagull can't aim, takes Haji out there with the Vandal. 
Swiss is spraying and praying through Viper's wall. So as you saw, the reason why KJ is jumping like that is because he's taking the peaks and your eyes might not register, but the computer does. So once once you do that and go back to safety, if you look on the mini map, you'll see the question marks which tag the enemy team. 10 seconds to plant. No time. Spike has not been planted yet. Seems like they exposed themselves a little with that yeah. healing. Interesting that healing play here. Away. Ooh, and all right. Audrey yeah. Kell takes that so, yep. round. Like I said, yeah, and that was good defense there. I mean, they still gave their position away a little bit, but what can you do? It's a 2v1. Oh, and we're going to stop. Let's see what they got to do. Not sure how they're going to play this off. But I wow, will say guys. it is a good play. Um, what do you that think? That was crazy. That was, crazy. <laughs> that was, that was a really lot of action. I really don't know how to feel because right now things can go either way. Like, C or not CBCC. CBCC was last game. Audrey Kell is, like, going through it. They are fighting. They are doing the best that they can defending, um, doing the best that they can for their team. Yeah, but NCSU it, is really it, they're, they're fighting They're holding on hard, pretty man. well. I will say that. Like, you would thought, and, you know, just previously we were watching uh, Audrey Kell take it with against, yeah. you know, uh, Red Hawks, and uh -huh. they really went off. They really show off their talents, and now they're yeah. taking those same talents right. against NCSU, and that's really turning the – Turning the tables literally against their own place. Dude. I'll have that I'm kind of flabbergasted. Yeah, I'm yeah. flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Honestly. Like, even my own words are going to mess up. Let's yeah. see what they got. Okay, we're going back into <laughs> yeah. the game. Four and eight, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, this can go one of two ways. They just need to f – they have so little to tie, okay? This can go one of two ways. <laughs> We're flabbergasted. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. It's I, just I don't insane. know what to like, say, man. I'm just like. So, literally, and, and let's tell, I, I, I want to see it again. I do. Yeah. Look at that. Replay. They're pushing wall to wall right now. Yeah. They're going to I want to see another set of action again because this is insane. They're really jumping in every source of direction. Here we go. Pushing wow. and stunning them. How can't aim Slowing them down just a little bit. In, There's a wow. lot of flashing Great going lines. on. And it's immediate. Wow. Ooh, oh, my wow. gosh. Oh Dude, my and that's just with a frenzy. <laughs> We're talking we're, – this is gun round right now. This is gun round, and what it still has a lot of impact happened? going on. Yes. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, Blazep really took that Yo. round. Like, he yeah, – I, I don't remember, again, if it was three or four kills. Yo. But he took that round oh for sure. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh we're talking 4v9. It could be the turn of events, the 3-9 to nine curse, like I was saying. Wow. Let's see if they take it because, I mean, like I said, Audrey Kell will not go down without a fight. They are holding I on as so best shocked. they can. They got a line up there. Oh, wow. it got shut down. They will not see if they're coming. They, they just know rushing. that there's one they're person. Immediately rushing. KJ places that turret. Coke can't you aim. can tell there is two defenders on site and a whole team trying to push in. Wow. Ostra smoke is on the way right now, so it really, really Sky depends coming how in they with do that clutch oh, so to, oh, so we got a flanker. Okay, we got they're Marshall trying, yep. running away immediately. Terrified see, for their life. Right click that. Oh, oh. Wow, we got two Marshalls. Oh. Two Marshalls? No, 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 just one. Just one. Oh, oh. Frenzy! Beautiful. All right, there we go. Beautiful. That's another defense for Blaze awesome. Tap. He's doing pretty good with that. You know, he's showing off his I trick shot skills, as you can say. All right, he's Blaze peaking. Tap 85 he's camping there a little bit. We'll let him do his thing. KJ is really low, man. One shot and they're dead. All right, so we got a little bit of a scan, but he missed his shot, so there won't be any scan unless they push in. You got two on your left, two on your right. Let's see. Left. Once those wall goes down, he's done for. Yep. He's trying to guesstimate yep. there. Wall and goes planting. Down, planting. Wow. Uh, all those out. Blaze tap goes in with the frenzy wow. once again. Four you, man, and this ten. Is, this Anime is just got defending their one kill. at its finest. You know, defending on this map is actually a pretty good Co set. can't aim with eleven. Uh, 14 and 11. Astra. <laughs> Astra. Yeah. We Top got Boost Murder. 
I was taking it top for the team. 16 and 7 with 6 assists. Yeah, that's, he's pretty hot. Oh, but look at Haji over here. Wow. KJ over here, he's 12 and 11 eight. assists. They're really, that, you can see right there with those numbers that all the team are assisting. Right. They're riding off of they're each other's. They're crazy damage. Trust, they're really going off of each other's company, and they're really oh, wow. being Go able to push aim. in together, not just one by one, because that could lead into a trade-off, and a trade-off could eventually lead to getting picked out one by one. So right now it's 5v4. Spike has not been planted. They have a minute and 15 seconds. Viper wall is up. Astra smokes are down. So we got a minute on the there clock is there. Chaos and on site. We got rotation coming in to defend oh, wow. B site. Headshot by have. lifting you. Another headshot wow. by lifting you. We're pushing in. Wow. Flawless victory, and they're Audrey planning Kel to take that gets point. That round. Do they make it? They do make it. They made it. All right. Beautiful. Five and ten. Jet on um, NCSU bought op. They went from Marshall to op. We're gonna see if um Ooh. see those Dropping body shots. Phantom man. for no reason. Uh oh. <laughs> so it looks like they're pretty split, right? Quick peeks now. Two on A, one mid. Looks like two B as well. Um. So we got an op actually. Yeah. So we'll see how that pans out. Oh, he's Blaise above the box. He's got a perfect <sighs> anchor right there. They just need to come no out. No way. Wow. Or not. We got that phantom there. We got a molly thrown into sight. Beautiful. Pushing in. 3B5 going on right now. We'll see if they can take it. We have a vandal. And... Yeah, we're all vandals. We're trying to push in, but there's uh, that. We got that shorty with the knot. We'll see if they can take yeah, it. Yeah, Blaze Tap is just waiting for yeah, them to peek Yeah, he's just waiting. That. He's not going to peek that. Nope, there's no way. Blaze Tap chilling, waiting for that. You got that peak, man. Yeah, you got flankers all around. Only one person from the attacking team is flanking, trying to diminish the numbers here as the defenders take sight only 35 seconds on the clock we'll see if they can take it or if they just lose that time yeah they've got 30 seconds left 30 to seconds plant left. right now 5v3 it's looking pretty it's rough for Audrey Kel, honestly anime is just this hopping is around down. seeing what they can do Kel can't aim okay. is, like, is still no waiting for blaze tap yeah, no longer a wall. Gas is nope. empty. There's nothing on the chamber. There's KJ. Oh, how did Planted he not? with four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Shooting. Spike planted. Reload. Wow. wow. Defenders take it. Five and Let's 11. See. That was crazy. Yeah. We'll see if they can take this last two rounds or if Audra Kell makes it interesting. Oh my so gosh. far, is looking like. Cool we ran aim, out of ammo at the same time. <laughs> they ran out of that, that ammo. That was a turnout of events. Terrible. They ran out of ammo, man. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever ran out of ammo? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's annoying. It, it really gets like. like it gets full intense. Right now or like had to reload mid fight? No, like I had to reload mid fight. Yeah. Because it, it's usually on like intense moments where you have to fight right. a group of people, not just a one-on-one. And then on you're one. like, crap, crap, I gotta reload. So you might be able to get one, but by the time that you have to get to the other person, it it's yeah, usually when done. it's best for you to move out of the way to reload. Right. Unless you're pretty confident with your one taps. So it looks like the majority of these There's players are going on. Um, on site right now. Black Adam. Lifting you is going you in for those, um, those op shots. They're ready. Drone comes out. Shot down. But location is unfortunately revealed. Here. Spike has been planted. 4v2. Oh. Audrey Kell taking it. One heaven, one hell. One enemy remaining. Anime uh, takes out. Astra. They try to push it in. Wow. Attackers, Attackers get it. Audrey yep. Kell, six. And 11. They take that round, still fighting for their lives, honestly. I'm telling you, man. They're doing great. I, like I said, I think although the 
Although the scores are 6-11, I'm pretty sure 100% they will not go down with the fight. They this will not. This is the third and last time I'll say it. Okay. But it's the last time. Yeah, yeah. I will probably it's say it again time. at some other point. <laughs> 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 but, yes, I mean, like, you, you're, you're, you're in a competition where there is a possible prize and, you know, you sign up with your teammates. You're right. trying to. You're trying to sh uh, show, I guess, like show your teammate skills to the p to the world, to the public mm -hmm. here at the arena. Wow. KJ so peeks that, but um, Blaze Tab does not take that op shot. Black Adam around that wall. Just playing it safe. Comes in contact with their Astra. They're not. Ult They're sends down out the, those defense. trails. Harbor pulls out his ult. Wow. Wow. Lifting you. Oh, we got Going straight in. Black Adam planting. Phasma. Everybody's on site. Absolutely everybody's on site. But it looks like Wait, why are they, why are they going away? Flanking. I have no idea. Everybody's. They're, They're trickling down. So They're it's leaving. just. Are they throwing the game or what? Five. Is this a free round? I, I guess unless they want to pick him out, but that's three v five, man. Blaze I mean, that's. I guess that's that game for uh, Audrey Hill in this round. Wow. You know, sometimes it's best to push back. You They're six and eleven. I uh, yeah. <laughs> fall back, push back, run back. All right. Well, they're gonna save, so they yeah. should evacuate before the bomb gets them. What's well, seven? Everybody was able. Seven Eleven, man. <laughs> hey, man, I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> Let's go to Seven Eleven, man. Yeah. Not sponsored. Get some ramen noodles. Thank you. So it looks like Blaze Tab um, continues to op. Have you seen any crazy shots by Blaze Tab so far? Because I haven't. I think that frenzy was the, the one frenzy. That, yeah, the, the frenzy. frenzy but I haven't seen any up. op shots yet. No op shots yet. No. I've seen them peak um, that one shot where they almost got mm -hmm. uh, Audrey Kells. Yeah, but that KJ, but that didn't viper take it. that viper wall was in the way, so there's not really right. much you can do to peak. It's just about defending the side right. on that point. Wow. Well. They just, I guess they heard me. Blaze yep. Tap takes that shot and Change. kills KJ. Yeah, he, he decided Anime. to be confident about that shot. Wow. Lifting you is on top of this little box right here. Hoping someone would peek, but it looks like nobody is, yeah, is that, close. That timeout that they had a bit ago definitely like, changed the yeah. tables on them. They probably encouraged themselves. A little pep talk. You got an Astra smoke ready to be deployed there. Got a booby smoke. Got a <laughs> bit of a defense. Oh, yep, there wow. you go. Haji oh, is he right there, man. Right he is about, if he moves a little further, he's going to get popped. Yeah, they're just, all right, so they're they're pushing in. They're trying to Two go get it. Sight, you so got Jit. Astra. He's going to try and dash in. Yep, wow. and then he's going to, yep. Lifting you is aggressive. Who has bomb here, all right. So, yep, there Black you go. Adam planting. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, there's there's a lot of mollies and smokes going on, including that harbor wall. Man. So there's definitely going to be a little bit of an eyesight uh, man. challenge here. We got Blaze an tap. op trying to get it flashed immediately, but still holding on. Wow. One They're eight. defending. They're holding down wow. the site as much as they can before defenders take it down. Black Adam throws that dog. Wow, what beautiful shot by Blaze base, Tap. Blaze Tap, let's go. Single can't aim, unfortunately dies. I mean, he couldn't aim. What else can you do? Yep, he can't all aim. Alright, we're all saving on this round. Bomb has been planted, can't wow. be defused. And Audrey Kill takes another successful push in. Wow. Audrey Kill's coming up, man. I'm telling you, 3 to 9 wow. curses this game. And I don't Unexpected. believe in curses. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, Blaze Tap coming up. Um, top Fragger, 19 and 10. Co can aim for Audrey Kell, 18 and 13 with seven assists. Everybody has got pretty good KDA, honestly. They're all doing pretty good damage, pretty good assists, working together as a team. Um, Audrey Kell's economy right now, they're stacked. Um, NCSU, they're doing good on money, but. Compared to yeah, Audrey Kell, they're not 
They've um, been getting tapped out there little by little. Oh, okay. Ooh, so we got goes in with that old Jeffy Jet. Let's see who takes it. Though. One Beautiful. off for Blaze Sap. He Beautiful. takes it for the win. Let's go again. Absolutely gorgeous. Astro Smoke is on the way defending that site. And Viper Wall goes up, blocking half of the site. That only limits how much space they have to plant bomb if they decide to plant now. They're trinkling down. down. Oh They're kind of cornered right now, as you can see. Let's Anime. see. You got a flanker there, too. NCSU's KJ is literally has no health. Recalling my zero, <laughs> zero HP. Look at their health bar. Yeah, I know. They're That's crazy. Low. How are they not dead? Actually, it's either that or they might not have. They might not have even been damaged at the moment. Yeah. Because if you see, he's in the middle. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So if if they're not on the play and you don't see any damage whatsoever, that means they don't have it. Like it Blaise won't Sapp. reveal their health just yeah. yet. Blaze Tap is being really wise. Uh, or yeah, yeah. Anime, 92 health. Being really wise with their shots. Black Adam going in, planting the spike with 20 seconds left. Blaze Tap going in with that shorty, kills the the spike planter, but it was successfully there goes planted. There's ults everywhere. Yeah, it's a really big push. The thing about the Viper ult is not how OP it is. Wow. It's just... Wow. Yep, yeah, there you go. Siegel I was going to say your aim. ability to uh, regenerate because your Viper, the Viper ult won't kill the enemy team. No. It brings it down to one health. Right. So it literally becomes to you either you make it or you don't. It's one or the other. It, it won't. It, it gives you the chance to play your game, but if you don't take it, you know, you right. tried your shot. You, right. you shot your shot, and you just wish for the best. So going to look back at these KDA, Kokan aims still a top fragger with 19 and 14. Blaze Tap as well, top fragger, 21 and 11. Um, with that six assist. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good plays, honestly. They're doing great. So we go. Uh, Audrey Kell coming up. Presence detected Ooh, by so KO. Anime's coming they're in. They're going to try and push for B again here. You got a little bit of rotation Beautiful on line. the defender wow. side. Oh, Audrey so gets they, his one. They abandon okay. flanking there and they decide to rotate over to push from. Uh, wow. Beautiful kill by Kokan A, man. Much. Through smoke. Using that util, they just got intel on where um, that person was. Well, for Kokan Aim, and they take Aim it. Kokan takes the We're win. We're at 10 11 Audrey right Kel. now. This is insane. Oh my gosh. This is really Audrey Kell trying to come up for the win as NCU is trying to hold strong, Yo. defending. Uh, Audrey Kell seems to be having their way in through. I feel like they're getting the groove of how they're defending. As you can tell, a little bit is that they they really spread out evenly, making them vulnerable to like getting picked. So I think that was a pretty late rotation on Audrey right. uh, on NCSU, which in turn, if if they would if they kept flanking, they could have probably right. made some progress there. So let's see, nobody so gets recon yeah. there. Ten and eleven, honestly, this is insane. You got Zell, uh, right Zell Zell there Ron trying to right behind box. do a sneak up, you know, kind wow. of a ninja move. Wow. What is wow. going Lift on? He had an op trying to get through. Did not spot anything through the mini map, so will get taken down immediately. Wow. He thought that he could shoot through that box, but there's no way. Looks like Lift and is getting mad, honestly. They're going hard. All right, Zero so players attained by KJ. Audrey Kale yeah. has now planted the bomb. They are defending site. They seem to be leaving site for some reason. Yeah, they seem to be rotating yeah. off a little bit. You got somebody watching over from the ramps, and you got one watching the defenders uh, spawn. And everybody else is just playing for time, playing for picks. They will not risk this, which makes it 11 to 11. 5v3. That is Blaze wild. Blaze Tap posted up on that little corner waiting for someone to peek. Swiss. We'll see if they the get a timeout thing. or not, but if they don't call a timeout anytime soon, that is wow. it. Wow, 11, 11 and 11. Yeah. The spike was so not defused, We'll see if they take man. a timeout or not. 
Usually that's what happens when uh, you go into a little frenzy like that. Yep, no, they're not this taking the team out. This is absolutely they're, crazy. All right, they're going in confidently. We'll see how they do. 11 and 11. What was it? 5 and 11 or something? And they automatically just like... 311. 311? Yep. And they just rushed in and now it's 11 and 11. Okay, so they seem to be doing that same... So this it's might be the breaking them. point. They're pushing in from both walls. Let's see. It is no longer a frenzy. They're actually having vandals and ops Beautiful. here. We got one tap, two what? taps. Oh, my God. <laughs> two kills Backs from out, backs out with the smoke. All right. That is pretty safe. You do not want to overdo it. You um, have the confidence in. that you had taken them. You have made them spread out. Now they are trying to... Rotate over to A. Wow. You got a defender taking it from the spawn. Yeah. Now you got uh, long, B long. Let's see here. There's a little bit of a conflict here. Nope. 2v5, man. Unless Blaze Tap makes his move, there will not be any conflict. He's really watching that site pretty well. All right, so we'll be moving in. Coast is clear. Oh, no. Nope. He's still holding down B long, which is quite dangerous. All right, they push. Delaron's waiting for that peak, man. He's so ready. He's gonna get destroyed. Oh. Stand. Yep. Delaron kills Siegel. Can't aim. Another peak. He's gonna try and shoot Un unless I'm he's trying to go wow. for the bomb itself. Wow. Nope. That is it. NCSU defends successfully wow. against Audrey Kell. It match is point. back to match point. Uh. Tilting over to NCSU. NCSU might take it, might not. We will see on this round. Right. That's why communication is so important because they oh, yeah. they could have said, like, KJ is posted up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> They're yeah, still yeah. there. Like. I mean, it, it, in my defense, even though even though if I can be pretty confident of taking it, I still would not be able to take right, it. Right. I don't think that I would risk my confidence over the, 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 the odds. Right, exactly. Because in a position like that, I know he's there. I know he's waiting for me. Why would mm -hmm. I risk why, my shot why? going through there if he has it's the hide advantage? Yeah. So, yes. I mean. You might as well not risk it, man. I might not be at their level, but I know that for sure. Blaze tap Blaze takes tap another tap. We'll see if they can do it again. Shots, man. I am so sorry, Blaze tap. All I right. take back everything that I said. Sky ulting from um, Audrey Kell. Revealing those trails, man. Molly from KJ is pushing in. Oh, he thought he could get on that lev on that leverage there. Ugh. Wow. Whoa. How did he take that headshot? That Molly did a lot of damage, so it was easy for KJ yeah. to take that kill. Anime getting Haji. There's a lot of action going on. Black Adam with the heavies. Wow. Getting 4v2. A this is match point. Shot. This is match point. Zero players obtained by KJ's ult. KJ and Harbor are that hanging is 2v1. in there. Astra took it Astra and defusing. is now defusing. Wow. NCSU takes it for the win GG. as they defend the game. GG. That is the it for this win. match. Very close. Game. I think that was a pretty, pretty intense game. I wow. think. Wow. <laughs> just overall, overall. I am mind blown. <laughs> this has been amazing. That I is think, absolutely insane. Yeah, as you can see, Blaze Tap taking it for Gosh. the win on the 25 to 6 assist. That is the the top fragger of the game. Next to him is on the opposite team, 23 to 10 assist. Co with can't, Co aim. can't aim. He so can't aim. He actually can he aim. He can. I'm so telling y'all. You know, he's trying Gosh. to bait those players out. But still lost, unfortunately. unfortunately. But I will say that was a pretty turnout of events. That's I am crazy. Dude. <laughs> listen, listen, I thought that Audrey Kell was going to take the, the win because they were they ran straight through it. They were yeah. getting win after win after win after win. Yeah. And unfortunately, NCSU took the last two rounds. Crazy, crazy turn yeah. of events. I was and not expecting that at Blaise all. Blaze Hat taking it from attackers side and defending side he took he claimed b long like he that did. was it when he, he defended it was, it was he one tapped them with the op when he started on the attacker side he used frenzy all the way that is his Crazy. i'm assuming that's going to be his best friends from no, now on that's after this game 
they have taken it completely out of this world. This is, has been one of the greatest matches ever. I mean, what else can I'm we say? I'm <laughs> shocked. I'm, like, really I, I'm, shocked. Not, I'm not playing, and I'm excited right now. So, yeah, like, I feel like I'm playing. I mean, I feel like I'm blazed. Have I'm blazed? Have hitting those options. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm Heck cooking yeah. aim, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's one v one right now. It's one v one. That was amazing. Awesome Thank you guys game, for tuning guys. in for this one. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>